You gonna go? Or am I gonna go? I gotta, hold on, I gotta get open. Oh, I'm fucking gonna say. Maybe you should open. You open. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Hi guys. Punch Hour Podcast. Happy New Year, everybody. We're back. New me. New year. New me. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. I'm Sam. Merry Christmas. And this is my co host. I'm Chris. And we're back. So I, I, I always <laughs> open with a question How was your holidays, Chris? Because we haven't seen each other in a minute. We have not seen each other. It's been like over a week yeah. at least. Two. We missed an upload, so two but weeks. But my holidays. Two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> we're off on some. So, yeah, days. technically, what? It's been 12 days, 11 days, almost two weeks. Um, yeah, so, so uh, anything that's been uploaded within that Windows backlog and yeah, we are but, yeah, it's yeah, we had holiday break. We are uh, technically most people are going back to work tomorrow, uh, but like you know, we still got a couple of days before that happens because you know we are college students, so we still got a couple of extra days. But I'm back in my home. Chris is back in his home. I'm done traveling. I had a whole travel set. Like literally, I had exams. Or I was like ranting about exams for like two weeks. I swear. And now it's, it was over, and then I got on a plane to go to to Austin, Texas, for the holidays. Austin, Tejas. So that, I mean, that was the short version. All, of it. Yeah, I mean, we'll get into it, but like, all I did was just you know just have like family over. Um, had New Year's with we went to our friends that are in town, which was fun. Just nice. See all them again. Um, big big gift though. Big gift I got from Santa Claus. Ooh. Santa Claus got me and my brother guns. Oh, what you get? Actually, he got both of us. Yeah, because we go uh, clay shooting. Nice. He bought Santa Claus brought me and my brother two 12 gauge shots. That's so actually that's fun. actually really awesome. I <laughs> it's so yeah, cool. My f- We've been like customizing the parts and shit the last week, so it's really that's fun. that's awesome. Yeah, my um, <laughs> my, my, I have a friend who like I said I have video footage of me shooting a gun. I'll push, I'll put it on screen. Uh, we were like this summer. We went to go. Uh... There's, there's, there's little five year old Sam. <laughs> no, it's literally like from this last summer. Like we went to go shoot uh, oh, okay. some guns that uh, he has, and I never have been a big, big gun guy, but I think shooting guns are fun. Um, mm-hmm. I'm wearing my Christmas gift, Mr. Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa the Niners. Santa Claus. Santa Claus found the first homeless guy and grabbed the coat. <laughs> Explain <laughs> your science, Santa the Niners. This no, this jacket is actually quite expensive. Once I realized, like, I was like, oh, this is a nice jacket. How, how much does Santa Claus pay for this? And I was like, oh. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, so, Santa, Santa Claus. It took Santa Claus a while for his elves to make yeah, this one. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to treat it with, I'm gonna treat it with care. So that's my, this is my, this is my mm-hmm. gift. Uh, yeah, Santa Claus was really was nice this year. And also with the grades. So, yeah, I was ranting about the exams for like for two weeks. Yeah. Got him back. I did fine. I thought I did. Yep. On, I did thought I did way worse. But... On, on camera and off camera, it was just every single like, okay, let's record this. All right, I got uh, 10 yeah, page paper. Yeah, I, page I had, paper I had like, right. a, yeah, it was literally just nonstop. Like, I had to grind, grind, grind. I stopped going to the gym entirely. Like, I was. Like I, it's so important that I get this, that get this done. But now I'm done, done. Like officially, I'm going back to the gym. Like I got my New Year's resolutions ready to go. Like, and I got good grades. Sam is Sam got rehab. He got help, and he's back to normal. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> but uh, I, I actually did have. I have two. Do you have any resolutions in terms of New Year, New Me, or not? Nah? I don't believe in that shit. Actually, you, what do you mean? New, a New Year's resolution that's stupid. Like if you, if I'm like, oh, I want to work out, I'm not like, oh, it's my New Year's resolution. I'm just gonna like, do it. Yeah. Like that's a stupid. Like I mean, technically, I mean, that's for that's for the weak minded. Okay, that's for the weak. Technically, yes. That's my. So take. like, yeah. Um, tag. I kind of agree with you, but also I said, uh, I kind of see this as like a fresh start because I was like literally, you know, su- super month busy, and I don't. I said I don't really see it as New Year's resolution, but I see it more as like a. Just like a fresh start, because like you know, like it's like same thing. Like it's, I would see it like same thing in like in August, or same thing like the beginning of summer. It's not a New Year's resolution in the summer. It's just like oh, now I have more time, therefore I'm gonna do this. With that time, so like going back to the gym is fucking so I'm like so happy. Like I'm actually so freaking happy about that. So technically, it's dude, Sam. Si- you go ahead. Or go, you can keep going. No, I said, I said, I'm, I'm gonna freaking, I'm not gonna freaking uh, enjoy all, like, all like the people. Like, so I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow for the first time in like you know like basically a couple months, like no, a month, singular month. I see all these new people like. That's that's exactly. You're what I'm not. Say. You're, so many things I see. You're I'm, not supposed to be yeah, here. Like, I haven't seen you here before. I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> Dude, I love I love making that joke. That's such a good joke. Um, but. That's yeah. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to. Um, 
One thing I noticed is a, a kind of like a no, kind of a New Year's resolution. Not really. I think just something in general I should just work on. Is stop smoking crack. That and um. Uh, no, Sam, Sam, Sam. No, 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 no. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that and um, uh, I saw like I said, you know how like the iPhone gives you like that weekly report of like how much you're on your phone. Yeah, mine mm-hmm. was like at nine hours. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a change. So like, I was like, I can't just delete like social media. Like it's just too like, I text too many people and I talk too too, too drastic. It's yeah, too it's too drastic. big of a change. It's just like something to be like, I can't contact anybody because I delete social media because I'm different now. You know, like so I'm out, I'm out of the mold, dude. Yeah. I don't I don't do that anymore. Like, I just like uh, there's a, there's an option on the iPhone where like um, you can like have the app but like remove it from your home screen. So like you can still have it. Like I kind of want to show you, but I also don't want to dox my phone. <laughs> is it? Isn't it like? Re- is it like you swipe to like the right or something like, like that? If, like if you, you hold it, if you have left. an iPhone, you hold it on the uh, you hold the app you want to delete, and instead of clicking you no know, delete, you just click re- remove from screen. So like pick any. Yeah. So that that is kind of like what I wanted to do. So that way I can at least like lower my screen time because like so you know you, you can, it's like people talk about it all the time like you know people are just zombies on their phone like instead of just scrolling through Instagram randomly the only time I'm gonna try to go on Instagram or like Snapchat is when I get notified like or if I want to text somebody you know what I mean. See, but Sam, you're not gonna see the funny funny memes no, no, yeah. though. No, Instagram. yeah, I mean like, that's true. <laughs> You're not gonna get that's, your little your little hit of your, your little copium. That's what, that's what that's what that's what you were for because I'll just you just send me memes. <laughs> I just send you the funniest. Yeah, stuff. Then that, and that's when I'll look at the other memes like, oh, I haven't seen this because like, I was like, I did it like a week ago, like before even New Year's happened because I said I got the weekly report and I was like, oh shit, maybe I should lower it. Nine hours is like a full day, you know what I mean? Like that's like a whole days of work, and I was just like <laughs> sitting there going like, oh. yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I was noticing too. Kind of funny that you say that. Like, I remember because not that I'm like a little crack fiend, but you know, I'm on Insta. I'm on Instagram quite often. I send a lot of people's funny posts. Right. I'm like, damn. I'm like, Sam hasn't like responded. I've sent him like five memes, and he hasn't like liked them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I just have. So I just have it set to where I have notifications. Like, oh shit, let me check that out, and then that way I'm not just like scrolling infinitely or going through the explore page, like. Like, yeah. oh my god, look at this TikTok. It's just like, you know, it's only like, I'll see it when I want to see it. So literally, just by doing that alone, I only like Instagram like three times, maybe twice a day. Just like, I'll get everything out mm-hmm. all at once, and then I'm done. You know, that way, instead, I'm just like... <sighs> so. Like, wait, if I refresh my page, more <laughs> posts might show Yeah, exactly, up. exactly. So that's kind of, kind of not a New Year's resolution, but kind of a New Year's resolution. Just like, so like, if you open my phone right now, like, there's literally just like, you know... I'm just like, I'm not going to show you because like, I don't want to dox my phone. But yeah, like, it's like YouTube, Google, like just like the the stuff I use for entertainment and like necessary stuff. So like texting, phone. Mm-hmm. So, just a thought I'd make a change that way, like reduce my screen time. But other than that, um, I had a pretty good holiday season. There's There was one really, 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 really sad part. I kind of wanted to avoid talking about it, but I kind of have to mention it. Cause... I mean, you don't you don't have to. No. You don't have to. I mean, you brought it up. I, like, I, think, I think I should because it's a big part of my life. I had I have two dogs. Um, one of them recently just passed away, un- unfortunately. I thought I knew she was gonna pass away soon, but I didn't think I thought she had like a little bit more time if, time in her. But uh, yeah, she passed away over while I was while I was doing exams. But she's in a better place now. I, I've already cried and everything. It's all good. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, but other than that, I had a great time in Austin. I have a I have a couple of stories you don't mind me telling. So I mean, yeah, go right ahead. So okay, so for us, first of all, like this is like this is literally this is crazy. Twenty twenty one was like year of travel for me, because I went to Texas three separate times, <laughs> once in the summer, once during the fall, and once during the winter. By the way, winter mm-hmm. in Texas is total bogus. It was like eighty degree, how eighty well, degrees, dude, nice and sunny. I was like, I, I bring up. I was fucking. Free- <laughs> I was freezing my ass off shoveling snow. <laughs> yeah. Dude, come uh, on. I was really now. like, bro, what the fuck? I'm literally out in sandals and like shorts. And people are like, <laughs> it's just like, it's like 60 degrees. It's not even that cold. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's. Uh, <laughs> there was. It's room temperature. Yeah, like, like the, the last day I was it was when it really got cold. It got like 20 degrees. But even then, it's like, oh. But like here, it's like, we got to cancel school. It's like, it's so cold. Like, you can step outside. You can feel it's chamber down your spine. I'm just like. It's like we need like six inches of snow for like just for school to be called out. Yeah. So, um, but so I went with my family. So like my my personal family, my mom, dad, my brother, and my dog, because like <laughs> just the one that's still around. By the way, 
It's funny, mm-hmm. like now that now that my other dog has passed away, he's happier than ever. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah, he's like now he's got like ties, like excited and energetic. It's like, bro, freaking, he's like wife gone. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like that whole wife. Let's go. <laughs> he's literally like super excited. Like he. He's like, he's like, I get more food, more attention. <laughs> yeah, like, this is a yeah, win. Like, yeah, like, my dog, like I said, he usually doesn't like my aunt. Like, it's the first time ever. He's, like, saw my aunt. She, like, licked, licked her hand. It's like, dude, this is, what is going on? <laughs> so, Felix. It's a changed man, dude. He's a, he's a single man now. Actually. But, um, so, yeah, I got to see my, my cousin and his, uh, and her, few, no, no, now husband. Her, my cousin, mm-hmm. and uh, who else? Uh, my uncle, and so that was, that was just like one of my one of my aunts and uncles, and like and my cousin, mm-hmm. and we had you know we hanged out, we did a couple fun stuff. Uh, the big story though, I have, like I have one really big story. So here's the story. So I think it's not, I guess last week Sunday. So there's this place in Austin. So I, I, there's a there's a whole lot of Austin by the way. Can I just say Austin as a city is insane because. Yeah. Or you see, you're saying that a bit earlier. Right. So, I, I, like, Austin, Texas is essentially like a mini LA. Like, there's no other way I could think of describing it. Because, like, because, mm-hmm. like, if you go back like 10 years ago, Austin was a college town. Not even, eh, yeah, I guess I'll say, I'll say 10 years ago. If you go 10 years ago, Austin was a college town. If you know, the University University of Texas at Austin, hook them horns. You've probably seen, like, the little longhorn thing. That, that yeah. was Austin. Like, Austin was a college town and, like, the capital of Texas. Now it is like exponentiated. Business has gone up. There's like it has a like skyline now, which I'd never seen before. I was like, like literally. What the? Like yeah. the whole like if you go to like I don't know what capital of like I don't know, I'm trying to think like Springfield I think like in Illinois, the capital mm-hmm. is like the tallest building in the city. Like that's like the whole point. Yeah. That's the whole point. Is like this is like the like, this is like the the place to be. Literally, the skyline in Austin shadows the building. Like you, you can't even see it. Like it's literally like we don't care anymore. <laughs> and and it, we do not care. Yeah, like literally. And also, my brother was mentioning it. So he, he we, we we live in Austin, right? But he does not live in, in a nice part of Austin. We live in like a pretty shady part of town. And I thought it was really funny because literally, the next my our, my brother's neighbor had one of those ankle bands. For like house arrest, I think. Oh, house arrest, dude! <laughs> yeah. What the? Fuck? And I remember he pulled up with his like his. I think I'm assuming wife or baby mama, and to see hi to his kid. <laughs> and like, there was also one day we were while we were in the apartment, we hear a bunch of like knocking and building and stuff, and we were like, "What the heck's going on?" We go outside. It's a bunch of uh, workers. They like came in like literally like Christmas week, like the twenty third to work and paint the building without any warning and then we got a notice from the building like hey um we're sorry about that they were supposed to come in next week my bad <laughs> basically saying like dude just like shit just <laughs> happens there dude that sounds crazy as fuck. uh what else uh we went to so one of my favorite places to go in texas is churches it's the only texas place and so me mm-hmm. and my brother said, so I want to get some churches. I'm going to get some churches. I'm, I'm only going to hear for like a week. I'm going to go to churches. We went to like the nearest churches. It's like 10 minutes away. And it's like underneath the highway with a bunch of like <laughs> shady businesses. Like there's like these places got uh, like ch- c- ch- coming for like cash in your checks. Like out of the- it's in Spanish. It's in cambio. Like check out the cambio. Which like, like, li- yeah, like, like, uh, like what is it? Like so your, you- your paycheck at work, you come yeah so there. instead of cashing yeah. in there instead of like going to a bank and like cashing in people can it's at the bar yeah right? they, they, they cash in there and like they pay a fee so that way you know they don't get caught by like you know the feds or something like you know it's like very <laughs> very, very, very it's like really like i'm being dead serious i think it was south lamar you could probably look it up super shady super but it's also kind of like this is texas bro you're giving them up you know the feds listen to our podcast <laughs> sam come on bro i i know like <laughs> It reminded me a little bit of where I'm from, which is Brownsville, Texas. It's kind of like this is kind of cool. I kind of like this. Uh, Doxed. I, you, know, you can blur, you can you can bleep that off. I'm I'm joking. I think we've said that before. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. You can look it up. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big town in Texas. Like it's like the south part tip of Texas, right next to Harlingen and what? It is. It is, it is Mexico, but inside the U.S. Yeah, essentially. Kind so, of. <laughs> so I went. So we went to churches, and I said so I'm going to get like so. My thing, my thing I love about churches is the mashed potatoes and gravy. And I was like, so, like, I'm going to get the fucking five-piece tenders with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Like, two mashed potatoes and gravy, specifically. So, I was like, I'm at the window, and my brother's like, hey, can I get the number four with uh, an extra side of mashed potatoes? Like, yeah, sure. Well, one second, sir. Like, I'm like, like you know, it's like, I used to work at fast food. So, I know how it's like the, you got to, like, make stuff and, like, 
hello, this is my, you know, and take the order, but you still gotta be polite. You can't be rude. Here, they did not give a mm -hmm. single fuck. <laughs> They were like, no, 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 shut the, hold up, hold no, up, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. Move the mic away and, like, scream at someone in the back. He was like, he was like, he's like, yeah, make sure you get, like, and he's like, so you want the number four with extra side of mashed potatoes and a Diet Coke? It's like, uh, a Sprite? And it's like, a Sprite, please? Yeah, I, I'm with you, sir, I'm with you. Can you just, you want a Diet? No, it's like, Sprite, Sprite, oh, Sprite, I got you, I got you. And I was like, oh, god damn, dude. Like, damn, we're, like, dude. the only ones in the, and the, uh, while we're in the drive we're the only ones in the drive through there's, like, Two white vans in the freaking churches with a bunch of dudes like talking around it. Like I'm pretty sure making some sort of deal. <laughs> dude, and, what the fuck? And, dude. and I was just like, you know what? Just like whatever. Like who cares? Get the churches. I have twenty bucks. Like here's twenty bucks. It's like right, here's your change. We're done. We're out of there. <laughs> and I will say this: churches was fantastic. That shit was fucking good as fuck. Ah, oh, mashed potatoes. Damn. Fire. But anyway, the big story is that there's this. There's like you know, Austin said like, I literally think like the. The, the imagery of, like, the big corporations, like, the big buildings shadowing the Capitol is basically, like, a literally, like, a I guess, I don't know, an, an analogy of how, like, law. Dude, this is just like real life, dude. Dude, capitalism is destroying it. Dude, this is just like real life, guys. Okay, but here's, here's, <laughs> but here's my point. Because there's this place in Austin called The Domain. And it's actually, like, not that far where my brother lives. From, like, from the shady place mm -hmm. my brother lives... Like, five minutes away is, like, one of the richest, like, most, like, expensive, like, places I've ever been. That's where I got the jacket. That's where Santa sent the jacket to the... That's where Santa... That's... Santa, Santa <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sent the... Uh, they made the L's for the, the jacket, yeah. So, um, I'm going there, and it's freaking loaded. Like, literally, like, uh, Santa also got freaking my mom, like, a new purse, and it's, like, super expensive. Like, I'm not going to leak where she got it from. Like, a, like it was, like, Whoa. Like, this place is rich. Like, rich, rich. Like, this is, like, what's it called uh, in L.A.? Uh, Rodeo Drive. Like, Rodeo Drive in L.A. It's literally, like, the same thing, but just in Texas. Okay. And I was like, whoa, this is this is weird. Because, like, 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 I've never seen this before. Like, this is, in, this is in Austin. Because I went to... Sam's like, I'm poor. I haven't seen... Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, real, the real Austin, you know, so I, the one I remember is, like, the campus. Like, you know, the, the hook'em mm -hmm. horns. I remember going, like, we passed by the stadium, and it's, like, on the highway. And it's just, like, it's barely even noticeable. Like, it's just, like, yeah. like the heck? It's, it's so weird. So we went to, like, old Austin, like, the old UT Austin. To go, we just wanted to, like, shop around, wanted to look around. Just, like, kind of like a little tour. And, like, that was, like, the real Austin. I was, like, that's why I really enjoyed it. But while we were at, yeah. while we were at the domain, it's, okay. Now, this is the real juicy part of the story. That was kind of, like, exposition. It's me. There's three people here. It's me, my brother, and my cousin's husband. I guess I mean how do I I guess my so what is that cousin is, cousin, is that my cousin is that my cousin in law? What is my here? I'm a is that is cousin in law a thing? I'm gonna look this up because he is part of the family now. Like he literally. Oh no 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 wait cousin uh I have no uh, idea. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking up. what is my cousin's uh husband to me? <laughs> Let's see um cousin in law cousin in law okay because yeah married in law whatever so yeah he's super cool. He's from, he's from like yeah he's fun bag you know so I'm I'm Mexican I've mentioned that multiple times already he's like the whitest dude ever <laughs> he's like from like just the most just like so it's it's like it's like the the one like person that's a different ethnicity in the entire yeah like the one white dude in the entire like Hispanic and family. he's trying to speak Spanish he is he's doing great like he's actually super cool that's cool that's cool and uh, he's like from Ohio and he went to like Notre Dame like as like how did Why? how did he meet your cousin? I actually don't know. I've never asked him that. <laughs> this is like the most like two like opposite sides of the globe. Like like a white dude from Ohio versus a fucking yeah, but, girl from Mexico. Yeah, she, and like yeah, she, and like here's the thing about my cousin. She was like born in like the '90s, and she like what? And her house was in Mexico, so she was truly born in Mexico. Like you know, born in America, raised in Mexico, kind of like my dad. But um, mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, I don't know. I remember he showed up, like, he went to, like, where I am currently. Like, he came to visit us in America, her and uh, her husband. Uh, her, then then at the time, girlfriend, I mean, boyfriend, uh, here. And I was just like, he was super cool. I met him, like, once. He was like, yeah, this guy's nice. I was like, I hope, I hope he sticks around. Uh, you know, and end up getting married, so he stick, stayed around. Mm -hmm. So it's just the, just the boys, just the fellas, right? Just the just the guys. And we're having a couple drinks at the bar. And, like, it's just, like, it's Sunday because, like, you know, I'm a... Um, my aunt, my mom, and, you know, my cousin went to go shopping, and it's just the fellas. And, uh, we're at the bar, and then this guy next to me, this guy next to me with his three buddies, um, 
They're like having like a, I don't know. It was first of all one. I think it was happy hour. <laughs> Why are you making that Hello? face? <laughs> Hello. Sam, do you crash? I can't. If you're talking right now. Hello. Uh, you're like lagged on my screen. Let me text you. Frozen? Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, we're back. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you want to explain it? Do I want? To... Yeah, I'll explain it. So, our internet went out in our area. So not the power. It was just our internet provider. So. Yeah, like literally, yeah, the internet just went kind out. Of we called our friends to make sure we weren't crazy, and yeah, it was literally out to like everyone. So, just so yeah, we we sat on Discord on our phones using the the what is it, our internet or like data yeah I just through our phones and yeah, I just uh, talk just, yeah. <laughs> for a bit just talked yeah it was, it was a very humbling experience without having the full capability of our technology. You know, it's like yeah, it was a little frustrating, but. Anyway, I had to play games. I had to play games offline. I just laid on my bed. <laughs> I was just like, well, <laughs> only down for a bit. As you can tell, I'm very tired from all the airport travel. But yeah, it's five in the morning when we're recording this. Our time. <laughs> um. Anyway, no, it's not. Uh. Anyway, continuing with my story. So, to refresh, Chris. It was like it was me, my cousin's husband, my cousin-in-law, and my brother, and we're just sitting at a bar, just chilling, having a good time. Okay, mm-hmm. we're, it's like Sunday, so we're watching football too. So it's just three dudes watching football at the bar, and there's a guy. So there's like three of us, and the bar's filled. So there's three guys to my left, and this guy on my left is with his boys, and uh, it's like happy hour for some reason. Okay, so for some reason in Sundays in Texas, you are not allowed to buy every every. Every hour is happy hour. No, and <laughs> it just happened to be happy hour at that time. But in Sundays in Texas, you are not allowed to purchase alcohol. It is just a state law. You're just not allowed to buy it. It's, I, I'm assuming it's like, you know, like a... Really? I've never even heard of that. You're making... That That can't be real. I'm not making it up. It's real. That is so weird. So on Sunday, you're just, you're just not allowed to buy alcohol. I'm assu- Obviously, I, I think I know the implication, but, you know, they don't want to like... I could ass- They don't want to say yeah, it out assume- loud. Yeah, I can assume the implication it being Sunday, but like that's crazy. Yeah, wow. Yeah, they don't want to say it out loud, you know, like mm, church. You should be going to church, but uh, you should be going to church. But mm, like, pay your what's the what's the little basket? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> pay yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, pay pay the church. Yeah, but anyway, um, uh, I'm just chilling there, and so they're having happy hour, and there's like mimosas. If you know what a mimosa is? It's a uh, is it champagne and orange juice? It's yeah, champagne and orange juice, but this guy was like sweet. There's like different flavors. There's like they had a bunch of flavors. Like they were literally like like they were like they were going like crazy. And these three guys, mm-hmm. this uh this African American gentleman and his two and his two friends, they're like boom, boom, boom. And this guy's dripped out. Like this guy has like Jordans, chain, the whole fit, right? And I'm like so I wasn't going to drink. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drink my water like it's a sunday like i'm just gonna just be with the family like like now i'm gonna not do anything crazy and this guy so he's like hey man what are you drinking i was like ah no, 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 we're not doing that here <laughs> and he's like come on bro i like we got we gotta start drinking man it's like you know I, i'm trying to tell him like yeah man it's like sunday you know it's like the lord's day or whatever i'm just trying to like you know, like you know leave me alone <laughs> stop talking to me stop talking to me strange man and uh he was like, nah, man, you guys, you keep speaking conversation, and then the more I realize, like, he's being a real friendly guy, you know, and at some point, he's like, hey, can I get four mimosas over here? <laughs> I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus here Christ, we, that's all, that's Here funny. we go. So, we start talking about life. So, he's like, hey, man, so what, like, are you from around here? Like, what do you, what do you do for a living? He's like, nah, man, I'm in school. I was like, I, I go to school in, uh, in the Midwest. And he was like, what, really? He's like, oh, I was like, oh yeah, I'm, from, I'm from Austin. I own a lot. He's telling me about his business ventures. You know, he's a very, he's a businessman. He's got, he's like, ah. I see. He I has see. like, he's like, he bought land. He's like landscaping. And he's like, you know, he's apparently very wealthy. And I like, clearly from his fit, he is. Like, obviously he is. Um, And he was super freaking enjoying his time. Like, yeah, him and his boys were like, ah. Like, he's freaking clinking. Like, they were celebrating. There was like a party there for like, mm-hmm. uh. I guess I don't know what it was for, but there was like you know, all this at, at this random bar we just happened to go to. So it makes me like you know have the mimosas, and I'm like I don't, I'm not gonna like slam them. I'm just like you know, and I had my sip on, I had you know, sip yeah. it and my so water drink. and I had my water, and he's like, bro, you can't chase that. You gotta freaking finish it. And I'm like, ah oh, shit, here we go. It's like it's by the way, it's like Sunday. So at like 11 a.m. Sunday. 
Like, oh. No, are, is, are, is, like, the rest of your family, are they next yeah, to you? Yeah, they're right or? next to me, and they're just watching the game, and they see what's going on, but they, don't, they see I'm having a good time, so. They're, like, they're just, like, okay. he's, 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 like, you know, he's whatever. Like, he clearly, he's, this guy's, this guy's nice. Like, he's not, like, a threat or anything. He's just chilling. He's, like, yeah. he's just, you know, one of the fr- friendly guy you meet at the bar. So there's, like, there's, you know, over the shoulder, like, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, like, <laughs> like, that's like my, my, cousin, my, my cousin-in-law, he's from Ohio, and, like, the Cincinnati Bengal game's going on. I know he's a Bengal fan, mm-hmm. so he's like, "Oh yeah, Bengals, yeah, Bengals, Bengals." So um, I'm just telling him, he's like, "I I try to chase the you know the mimosa, I'm not trying to like you know down it with one go." He's like, "Nah, bro, you gotta do it in one gulp." And I got two, by the way. So and these things are yeah. like what this big? Like they're pretty long. Like they're not small. So you know he's like, "All right, frick, fuck it, whatever." Cheers. Boom, slam, and then like five minutes later, he's like, "Cheers." Boom! Two mimosas down. Plus, I already had a I had a beer after that, and I finished my cousin's beer. <laughs> my cousin. Oh my so it's like what, twelve? <laughs> and I'm like already <laughs> four drinks four, in. Four drinks. Four in. Four drinks yeah. in, and I'm like enjoying. And we're talking about life and stuff. And he's talking about like you know he's like you know it's good you're in school dog. I didn't get the chance to go to school. And then uh, you know about like you know, I have pursued a a professional boxing career and then once I took that money I reinvested in landscaping and you know like, Amer- what the fuck, like dude? That's a, awesome. American dream type shit but then, and then it takes here's the yeah. thing it takes a turn like I was like yeah, this guy really like made it in this world and then it takes a turn and then he sh- he's like I start smoking crack so he's like he pulls out his phone he's like here like check out check out all the money like you know his business ventures and he shows all the money he has and like all like how like his uh and uh it's all in cash and I was like okay that's kind of weird but like whatever like you know it's like, you know, and like the classic, like, you know, guys do with like, they have like their phone, to, like the money bags to their ear and like him with like, he has like him, he like bought like, he was talking about how he's providing for his families. Like he's like, he has like, yeah, I got like 22 families. Like I'm providing for, like I'm doing, I'm doing this for the right reason. And like, you know, he bought like five PS fives for like, you know, kids. I was like, this guy's like, this guy's a good guy, man. I like this guy. And then at some point you know, after doing more mimosas, I, like, I just had the two cause he bought them for me, but you know, looks left, looks right. It's like, all right. I'm 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 one of the most, most wealthiest men in Austin, Texas, but I'm heavily involved in illegal activities. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, I was like, oh man. no, I'm putting it all together. Did he say it like that? He said, "Dude, that's so fucking goofy. That's not from a movie." That- <laughs> I'm heavily you bought- involved in illegal activities. Yeah. So I, That's so and he's goofy. Like, I know like a Mexican cartel. I know mobsters. I'm just like, bro. I was like, I was like, okay. And I was like, now it's just like, obviously now I put the, like, the dots together. It's like, well, that's like the landscaping is just a, it's just a front for the real business. Cause he mm-hmm. bought like 40 acres of like land. I was like, damn, that's like, what is like a farmer? Like this guy's like, I wonder what, what, what he's farming though. What he farming though? <laughs> so I was like, like, so like, oh, now it all makes sense. Like that explains the drip because, like, you know, for a guy who like works this hard, I was like, you know, why he's got like all this, the I like literally like iced out diamonds grill, like you know, and like and literally, but super nice guy. Like you know, he dripped out. Yeah. But like literally, the way I would describe it, like these, and, and his two buddies are super nice too. It's like it's like me and my like my original friends from home. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's like the alternate universe where we're older and we're black. <laughs> like these guys were like in their like thirties, and um, and they like you know they really just reminded me of like you know my my childhood friends, and I was just like bro, like bro, this is, like the alternate universe shit, and uh, super nice guy. He said he said though you know obviously he's like now now it's the alcohol kicking in. And he's like now he's trying to get out. And I hope he like I hope he does because clearly he had, like he said he he had enough money for like the rest of his life he's good like you know so mm-hmm. I was like hey, man. and at some point he's like he had to go because he got like his dinner with him and he has to go like dinner with like the party members like I was like hey man it was nice meeting you bro and I was just like hey, nice meeting you too man and then so Dude, what a st- right, but here's the like, tech, from, from from meeting that guy technically it's over but I still have to you know like, hang out with my family and shopping. So at some point, my brother's like, we, "So yeah, you see, yeah, you are still, yeah. you still have four drinks, and you have the yeah. rest of the day." So I go outside waiting for my mom. I'm literally outside, just like, <laughs> <laughs> like and like my mom literally looks at me. He's like, "Why are you smiling so much?" It's like I'm just in a good mood, mom. Like, what's so wrong with being in a good mood? And then, uh, and then afterwards, we went to like a store where my aunt wanted to go shop, and we were like, "There's like a bar in the store, by the way. Like, so this is like a super rich place in Austin. You can look it up. It's called the Domain." Mm-hmm. And literally, it's like now. Nah, and then they order my brother. Like, I'll just like I'll have whatever my brother's having. And he ended up ordering like freaking, uh, a gin and tonic. 
<laughs> so, dude, I want to try a fucking. I have no idea what gin tastes like. like I want to try gin and tonic. It sounds so there's like. There's a lot of stuff. I tried a lot of stuff while I was over cool. there. There's some stuff I was just like, and there's some stuff like. <laughs> oh, and then, so yeah, I have a, more of a, a more Austin stories, but like that was. <laughs> Uh, that was the most funniest thing. And I remember I was talking, I telling my cousins about it, and like my cousin was like, "Bro, that's so funny! Like, what the heck?" That's and, seriously. That's like that's yeah. like a funny ass story you could tell for like forever. That's so yeah, cool. And yeah, uh, just some random guy at a bar, just just like giving you drinks, and he's like heavily uh, involved and, and in illegal, illegal activities. activities. And I was I was like, because like, so at funny. first like I was like, I'm not gonna judge the book by its cover, you know? Like this guy works yeah. hard. This guy's like a proof of the American dream like this guy like he made it now he's celebrating with his boys like literally like who doesn't who doesn't want to be this guy and then you find that I feel like you know did the ends justify the means I was like ah oh, shit <laughs> but no, like, oh, okay but it was still it's still super freaking uh super funny so shout out to that guy I hope he hope his ventures in Austin lead him hopefully down the right path and eventually he gets out of the game but um another big hey, th- hey shout out dude from Austin shout, if you're watching shout man, out to- hit us up no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> shout out that dude from Austin um, super nice guy but um speaking hold on before you go on to your next thing speaking of drink stuff it's kind of funny so. This was a drink my grandma, has, I, you know, it's an old drink. My grandma's talked about, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm like, that sounds good. Let me, can I try some? I'm like, Grammy, can I have a sip of your beer? Yeah. Um, it's a amaretto sour. Do you know what that no, is? Not. Amaretto, it's a a sweet candy-like Italian liqueur. Ooh. It's like a, It's like a 30%, so it's strong, but it's so sweet. And you put a little bit of that in like a sour like soda or sour drink, and it just it's so, so okay. Good. So this so this goes this directly involves in my second story, right? So like the first cup. Okay. So you go, you bring out drinks. I'm gonna bring out a drink that I had while I was there, and I and I snapped okay. it to you. So you already kind of know parts of the story. Yeah. So um, I so I spent I spent Christmas with the family. Like we watched like the you know football games together. Uh, we watched freaking bunch of things. Christmas dinner, yada yada yada. At some point, my I think at post Christmas, my cousins and my aunts left because they just went to like my cousin went to go visit with her in laws, and my my uncle and aunt went to go visit other her other uncles and aunts. So we just now it's just my direct family, just my my brother, my my mom and dad, and we're just exploring. Mm-hmm. We're just exploring Austin. So there's this place in Austin called Sixth Street, which we actually didn't go to. We didn't go to the true Sixth Street, like. Sixth Street is essentially like a bunch of city, a bunch of bars that goes down all the way, like from there to like the cat. I don't know this was the capital, but it's just a long, a long street of bars. But so okay. because Austin, you know, is rapidly expanding, we went to a bunch of other places. Like now there's West Six, so we went on West Sixth Street, which is literally just you know they made six, they made yeah, they just made six, six they, they just made Sixth Street like longer. They just made it freaking add more. And mm-hmm. uh, we're on West Sixth Street, and we're just like a couple, a bunch of bars. We're like visiting, you know, because like afterwards, you know, we were just like, well, now what do we do? Because that was like we went, we literally just said goodbye to our like our aunts and uncles. It was like, all right, well, now let's go do something. You know, it's like night's still young, uh, and we're looking at a couple bars, and we find uh, that right. So there's a bar where it's like a bunch of people from my hometown go to. It's called I forget what it's called. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just right there, and I'm just like, oh. It's wait wait. Are you, are you saying where we live? In, or, in oh, Austin. Wait, where... In Austin, where? Oh, in Austin. Where okay, I'm right, from. Here. Where like so? Yes. In Texas, so there's like a bar in Te- in Austin, Texas, where people from my hometown in Texas go to. Like it's like everyone from if you're from this area, like South Texas, like I'll oh, go to this bar. You'll know everyone there. It's like oh, that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And right next to it, like we're just because my brother's showing it is a bar called Valhalla. Oh my god! Okay, and, like, oh dude, that was so fucking and, funny. When you sent that to me, I was like, "Oh hell no!" Bro. And I was, was like, so cool. "Oh my god, it's real." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was the bartender? A woman with purple hair. I was saying, no. Imagine though, that would have been insane. <laughs> I literally would have been like, "It's your name, Jill." Like, I literally would have bring it. Boom, 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 boom. Like, dude, that would have been hilarious. But I. Uh, but all right, for for context. The I mean it's on the channel. One of the Let's Play series we're doing. It's it's Valhalla. It's a future like dystopian like bartender game. We literally are just a bartender. It's an indie game. It's a, you're a bartender. Yeah. And just you just serve people drinks and talk to them. It's called the game and the bar is called Valhalla. Yeah. So literally, I texted him. The first thing I do is immediately send, snap a picture of Chris. Like, bro, it's real. <laughs> bro, dude, and, I screenshotted that. Yeah, sure and oh, I went inside the bar. So okay, at the time it was like a Tuesday night. Like it was a couple days. So so two things right off the rip. So for, number one, it was a Tuesday night. So obviously, most of these bars are not very are very not very busy right now, and um, 
it was like so people were still working. So obviously, you know, Tuesday night people are not gonna be working out. Like I remember literally like the next day there were more people out because it was like you know, Chris. I think it was was it Christmas? I think it was post Christmas that. Hold up. Pause. Or maybe there's the date when I screen. Yep, December. No, December twenty eighth is when I screenshot it. So. Yeah, so December twenty eighth. So people still had work, I guess. Or I don't know. It was just like it was just a quiet. Night. They work, I think. Uh, I, uh, I'm no, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Because I remember my mom had to go to work, and so did my de- brother. But me and my dad didn't. Wait, how? Virtual. Your parents were at virtual. My brother had to do virtual stuff, and my mom did virtual stuff. So. Oh, cool. So people had work, so, but we did like we got it all done early in the day, so that way we could do stuff at night. But I you know, I guess some people didn't get to do that. So mm-hmm. on the Tuesday night, there was not that much uh, shit going on. And then two, COVID. COVID is like unfortunately has made uh, a big comeback, uh, bigger than ever. By the way, like this is literally bigger and better than ever, dude. This new update <laughs> is insane. I can't wait. Okay. No, it's lit- <laughs> literally um, I my my this entire trip. By the way, my dad got super sick. And so did my uh, brother. My my brother and my dad got super sick, and my mom had like allergies, and that's it. I got nothing. Nothing happened to me. And I'm okay, and I, but like COVID sick or like co- like did not check. Or we, 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 mm. we, te- we 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 got tests. We got some te- COVID tests. We all took it. We all tested negative. There's also this thing in Texas called the cedar fever, which is like allergies when there's like a. <laughs> the cedar fever. It's like it's like a tree. Like there's a bunch of cedar trees in Austin, and my parents just like immediately were like, "Oh, jeez!" And my brother had too, but me, I literally nothing happened to me. But here's the thing: we ended up spreading it to my cousin-in-law, whatever it was. So like, I mean, like that infectious like, he... killed him because he's white. No, he literally just felt like he felt <laughs> like shit as well. So like, I don't know. Maybe it was COVID. Maybe not. The test, like you know, we're like we got off the counter at a Walgreens, so not like the most reliable test in the world. I have no clue. Well, I mean, yeah, no clue. Like, no, because like by the time we tested, maybe COVID was gone. Because like my dad felt sh- like it was literally the same thing like that happened to me. Like I felt shitty for a couple days, and then it was good. So like by the time we tested, it was like, well, maybe it's gone like i i don't know but anyway covid was like i said and texas by the way for the most part they don't give a shit <laughs> so that's they're like yeah for the most part like in yeah. most other states like they'll have like some cautious but in texas like we do not care <laughs> literally we do not care and vax not vax mask we do not yeah care. we do not care and then uh for the first time like ever like texas is like okay maybe we should probably stay indoors this time <laughs> because like there was like a bunch of covid cases like like it was it's it's rapid it was insane so there was not that many people at the bar um but you know we walk in and we're like well i guess we'll just chill here and we look around and then oh one one more thing before you continue i will add this is this was a gamer bar okay i will add it was an <laughs> e-sport bar i mean yeah but like i mean also it was like one of the old, i don't know i feel like a lot of bars were closed so like, and obviously, you know, there's, there's demand and, you know, this bar has a supply. At the end of the day, my parents see a bar, they're like, ooh, alcohol. <laughs> and it was, and it was like cool too. They're like, they're like, Sam, look, it's Mario. You like Mario, Sam, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, my, look, Sam, look, Sam, well. <laughs> um, I'd say that you, it's, fu- it's fucked up because that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up because you say that it's true and i was like yeah i'll check it out let's check it out but we check it out and it ends up being a super cool bar there's like a bunch of setups mm-hmm. of like different games like have like a ps1 they have like a xbox they have a bunch of setups and they have like a straight up like pc bang like a whole like area of like just computers yeah yeah and uh so this is really cool but like so obviously it's like i don't know like they they are a bunch of dudes and a bunch of girls are already playing halo on the there was literally like a whole like Bunch of like bunch of twenty somethings already playing Halo Halo Land party. Yeah, like actually little Halo Land party like going on there. And they and they like, I will say like, like you know these aren't like OST. Uh no, the new one Infinite. Oh, and then and these the guys fuck? and you know and these aren't like you know like I don't I hate to be I hate to be the bearer of bad news like these aren't unattractive like you know sweaty like gamers like these are, like normal people. I guess. I'm... <laughs> what? Not ugly people played video like, you know, games. It's not, yeah, but yeah, here's a good example. They, they weren't like your like your typical like idea of a Smash player. When you think of when you think of a gamer in your head, what do you think yeah, of? Like, not that. Not basically. yeah. <laughs> and like you know, there was guys in the corner playing 2K. There was guys like you know, I was like, this is kind of a cool bar. I was just sitting there, and the guy behind the the bartender was like an NPC. I will say that, like as in like a like he was like a cool like you know like cool character to talk to. His name was his name was Foster foster and he's uh 
He's Foster. Of course, he's an MF that works at a video game bar, bro. He's oh, super no. chill. Uh, he's talking to, like he wasn't. He said he he really told us like yeah, I don't know anything about video games. I just work here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And uh, you know, he's like you know talking. Like, he graduated from Texas A and M, and he was like uh, now he's like a couple years out. Like he's just kind of working, making money back to like pay student debt, state student loans. He's like this is kind of what I do now for now. And he's talking. Raffle, and he gave, Raffle, and he gave us tech school baby, no debts. <laughs> and he's uh. He's giving us a bunch of drinks, and my mom was like, "Hey, try this, try this shot off." And it was like, "Here, I just googled it. What is it? It's like, uh, yes, yeah, screwball peanut butter whiskey and rum chata." And I was like, "All right, I just can't. Let's, let's try that." And so, a peanut butter like rum cream. Yeah, thing? with rum chata, and I tried it, bro. It was like peanut butter milk. It was it was like chocolate milk, and I just like Does this have alcohol in it. I was like, "Yeah, was like a lot." I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and like and, it, and and here's the thing roster like realized like i like we liked it so he just kept pouring out and some of them were like yeah this one's on the house i was like let's go oh my roster. god dude and then that's some peanut butter that sounds gross it was good it was really good i've tried chocolate there before. was there chocolate was also he had drinks. different combinations he tried it with a fireball so it was like cinnamon toast crunch like oh there was a lot of like he had like the mixology down and then he like my parents like he's you know my parents really love it's just like Valhalla. My parents like, get get this. My, so like he found a shot I liked. My parents are really into tequila. It's like oh you'll like this. And he pulled out a tequila. And my dad was like hold up I gotta take a picture of this. <laughs> like make sure oh my God. make sure I get this tequila down when I go back home. Like literally it was like this is literally like sh- like Valhalla like drinks talk. It's literally that's literally me playing Valhalla dude. And, yeah, oh my God. Sure. Hey what hey hey. Hey, if you like the podcast, you might like our Valhalla series. Go check it out. I think as of recording, we got like two episodes. We got three. Two we got three, we got three. <laughs> three. We have three episodes out. So, Go watch. They're it. really good. They're like it's like a movie. Um, but yeah, shout out to Foster. That was awesome. I really enjoyed my time at the bar. Like that that place. And plus, after a while, I was like, I was like, bro, I was like, I talked to my brother. I was like, let's play Smash, bro. Let's play Smash. And he didn't win a single game. I was like, hey, hey yeah. But uh, oh yeah, no, I had a good time uh, at that place. At, at, Valhalla, did, the esport bar. Did they have the DLC characters? Yes, up they there? had all of them. Okay, okay. they had literally like, these guys were. They did knew. you look at the me fighters? Did people put like funny goofy? I didn't. Like, I didn't characters? check. I didn't check. I, okay, I would have checked that. People were saying just like really just stupid <laughs> stuff and like the characters like made goofy. Yeah, I didn't check that stuff, but uh, you know, I was you know, it was cool. I we thought about going it going to it on New Year's because we talked to the Foster about it. I was like, how are they gonna do like? What's gonna New Year's gonna be like in here? It's like, oh, it's gonna be like a DJ, like you know, like it's, it's, uh. it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, don't show up. And I was like, hmm, should we? Go? I was talking about, should we go to it? And eventually, because my parents were like, we're not doing anything. Like, we're gonna stay home. We're too, we're too old for that. <laughs> so me mm-hmm. and my brother was like, do you want to go do something? He's like, not really. First of all, one, my brother was sick, and two, uh, he was worried about COVID. It's like he said, like we were like, shit, like what do we do? So we ended up just like, it was stay home, I guess. So we ended up just doing nothing for New Year's, uh, which is fun perfectly fine just chilled had just chilled in my freaking house and just mm, water <laughs> yeah but um that was like the two big ones i'm trying to think of anything else that happened at uh in austin that was like major oh yeah so like we were like i was a uh, we yeah we, i, I kind of mentioned it earlier but like you know at some point me and my my brother was like let's go like let's let's reward ourselves let's go shopping let's try, let's try to look around so we literally drive around austin to see like certain like uh stores and we went to so this is where i went to all like tour basically all of austin essentially uh so yeah like the big like you know conglomerate now there's like i guess you can split all into like three parts there's like the big conglomerate like essentially la like downtown la where there's like all the big buildings the city like cool places to be and stuff like that then there's like uh the, the college like small college city is like the former Austin, I guess you could call it. Uh, we saw a bunch of that. That was cool because now there was like buildings. You could see like I literally remember we parked somewhere to go inside a store and it's like, what is this building? And I look up, I look up and I see like Sigma F- uh, Delta. I was like, oh, it's a sorority. <laughs> Yo. Uh, yeah, I was just like, what the? It's like yeah, and, like literally it's just this random building in, like the middle of the street. I was like, this is the sorority. Like I literally like I couldn't even tell like we're like we were on campus now. And I saw mm. like the you know like the big the big the big university buildings, and I was like, oh, okay, so now this is like where people from UT Austin live. And this is the, mm. These are the broke college students, and then I was like, oh, I looked at a certain building, I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely in a freaking shitty apartment building. It was like a like <laughs> thirteen stories, like the windows are like super shitty. The building's like old as fuck. I was like, yeah, that's that's an. Like, yep, that's a co- <laughs> that's a college apartment building. Yeah. 
And then like the third and then, part. And then the other area where the slums, right? Where my brother lives. Like Final Fantasy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he lives in the slums. My brother lives like dead ass. Like my brother dead ass lives in the slums. Like so I already said it. Like uh, he lives like the guy, like my next door neighbor has like the, <laughs> has a house arrest thing. <laughs> oh my. I was, I'll be, funny enough, when you first told me like, yeah, your brother's down in Texas now out of school in Austin. I'm like, oh damn. Like I imagine like him and like. An apartment like one of the giant downtown skyscrapers. No, that's that's like that. <laughs> that's that's my other. That's my cousin. My cousin lives in like yeah, yeah. one of the sky because she's a doctor. She's like you. Said, you mentioned so like Chris is. He's we're both in college. Chris is studying to be a nurse. She's she's a gynecologist. Why'd you dox me like that, bro? Why'd you dox she's me? She's like he's, 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 <laughs> you know what this means. She's a gynecologist. She. Everyone knows what that is. I most some guys don't. Those guys are ignorant like that. She's a vagina doctor. There guys, you go. If you don't wow. Know. Right. <laughs> yeah. So um and uh so yeah, she lives in a super nice apartment building. It's kind of like almost like a startup building because some of the walls are like still made of concrete and like uh as in it's unfinished or as in it kind of has like an industrial. It's like, like an industrial. It kind of has an industrial look to it. I think they probably refurbished it to be like an apartment complex. But, like, it's super mm-hmm. secure, and it's, like, right in downtown. Like, literally, like... Dead hard. Th- dead it was really, like, wow. Like, that. this is, like, yeah, that's, like, the, you know... My brother's trying to, like, upgrade <laughs> to, like, at least something a little bit better. Because he's, like, talking, like, he has, like, old friends from high school and college or, like... No, old friends from in Texas that are, like, oh, I live in this area, and it's a little bit nicer here. Plus, it's, like, a gated community, so that way you don't have to worry about... Because, you know, my, my brother has, like, ring... And like every, like I said, I know the sound of like the difference between like a gunshot and like a firework. And some nights there were fireworks. Sometimes there weren't fireworks. <laughs> some nights those were not fireworks and, uh, going off. Man. And like you know, a New Year's Day, I was like, okay, it's just really, yeah, I'm just celebrating. Woohoo! And that's something. Like, the... That's the perfect time to commit crime, though. So. <laughs> and then there was like the ring. So my dad, my brother has ring. So we get notifications like the, like, like the door, like the doorbell. Yeah, thing. we get yeah, uh-huh. you get like notifications of like things around the area, like shooting, a uh, potential robbery. <laughs> uh, like, I was like, bro, you've been living here for like six months, and it's like, yeah, like we have. And he's just like, yeah, you get used to it, you know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Say, if you look inside his apartment and everything, it's like it's nice. Like it's like 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 a, he's got like a. He's just like. He's just like, yeah, I just got to make sure when you sleep, you got the gun loaded next to you. You know, it's all good. It's all good. He's got like, yeah, like a bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen. Like, it's not, it's, it's pretty nice. And, uh, there's mm-hmm. enough. That's good. Like, if you could, like, yeah, we, I saw him, like, after, you know, my parents, because like, I was there for one extra day because my parents drove. I took a, I took a plane. Uh, we made, we literally moved the futons. Cause Sam travels in style. Sam was, you, uh, you said you were in first class, correct? Or were you in the pilot seat? I was in the back, bro. With coach, dude, you know how I do it. Uh, he was in the pet storage. Yeah, I, I, I usually, so, um, I don't, for, for said, I traveled what? One, two, three. I was on, so I traveled three times. I was on six different flights. So technically 12 different flights if you count the layover, but six different flights this, this year. I don't really have any bad plane stories for the, for the most part, and usually people are like, like there wasn't like a single like like one person you heard, dude, over your shoulder, like twelve do- rows down, dude, said these, like some rude thing in to the bad, You don't have to get these AirPods. It's kind of hard to see because our camera's so bright. There you go. Dude, those are the pros, right? Yeah, here, let me let me get like a background. Yeah, the AirPods, dude, they have like a noise canceling stuff, bro. Like literally can't even hear it, and I just play music and I just I sleep. Like most problem, people have like can't sleep in the plane for like loud noises or like. It's it's uncovered it's hard to sleep like this but i worked it out like i just slept like a baby like i always sleep a baby like on a on plane so i'm good when it comes like i really have i have like one bad plane story but that's that's literally it i'll, I'll tell it if you want me to yeah. tell it like like yeah uh, you got unless you got something else to talk about but i guess like oh here i was gonna say with the or say your thing first with the airplane uh my, my, my airplane stories my airplane flight with yeah to keep it keep it austin related um plane perfectly fine nothing bad at all happened no no delay no cancellations i was worried because covid was like up and a lot of people were getting sick so a bunch of flights were canceled mine didn't get canceled luckily and no mm. delays either because of weather so i like literally just nothing bad happened to me i was literally like golden and to wrap up austin um I'm trying to remember like yeah i was like no just cool to see cool to see a new place i said i i think austin is like the place to be 
if you're trying to make it like did you did you travel to rooster teeth HQ? okay so we were talking about this right so me, <laughs> me and my dad and my brother we were like bro imagine being here like 10 years ago like imagine being there like like seeing like because he was telling me he's like you, uh you know jack patillo right uh he's like uh he's like the big guy with the beard he did like achievement hunter weekly uh oh i i don't i i, I know like gavin oh okay achievement well anyway hunter. but he was telling me one of the members of achievement, of achievement hunter so he's, he's like you see that running path every day he's like i was like yeah what's, what's up with that it's like jack takes that path every morning every single day i was like really he's like yeah i was like <laughs> like huh i don't know that like, you know there's a place you know they, they they're people too right they live here they got to go exercise and eat so sam you know goes on a run <laughs> puts the outfit on just like Wait, you are you Jack from, from Achievement Hunter? That's so convenient. That's so wow, what a coincidence. So um I didn't see, obviously I didn't see anybody from Bruce T there. Plus they're not in their prime anymore, so like not see, Who cares? Yeah, like, one yeah, really who does care. I said like if I you know, if I saw like Bernie Burns like five years ago in Rudy Austin, I'd be like, Yo <laughs> I'd be like, Yes. I, well if I were to see Bernie Burns today, I'd be like, What the girl? Yeah, Bernie Burns or like Gavin Free. I, said, I don't know what they do nowadays. I don't keep up with Rooster Teeth, but if I ever saw him in person, that'd be really cool. But I don't know if they, they haven't had an RTX since like I don't even know when. They definitely didn't do one in 2021 or in 2920, so maybe it'll be this one. They're this year. I mean yeah, they're, I mean, they're a company that's very, like, you know, they, they're definitely going to play that stuff safe, so they're probably going to wait, like, maybe ne- maybe this year. Assume, like, assuming like assuming we go downwards in virus from this point on, I think we'll, maybe we'll see it. Genesis is happening mm-hmm. for Super Smash Bros., so I think um, we'll see we'll see what happens. Genesis. It's, like a, it's a big tournament. It's in, like, it's in... No, I know what it is, but which number is this one? 13 or 12? Because th- okay. there was one in 2020 because of... Uh, because it was early before the pandemic, and that was that was the one Zane won, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Zane mm-hmm. won that. Like, it feels like twenty nineteen. It didn't. But it wasn't. Actually, wait. Well, so that was the one Zane won, and then the ultimate version, which was like Genesis. The number is way lower for the ultimate, obviously. Um, Genesis. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Genesis. Isn't that the one? I'm pretty sure Mars snuffed MK Leo and won Grand Finals, right? Yeah, I'm looking this up. Hold on, Genesis. I'm pretty sure that was. So yeah, Zane. Version. That was yeah. That was Genesis Seven. That was just seven. Okay. Yeah, literally. Yeah, look at the it's the this post is from March twenty seventh, twenty twenty. Like literally, like pandemics happening, like as we speak, as at that time. And then look up, look up the ultimate Genesis Ultimate. Who won that? Uh, Genesis. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's Mars, unless that was an older tournament. I think you're right, but I'm pretty sure Genesis uh, Ultimate Smash Smash uh, Seven. So I remember watching that. It was just you know, obviously MKLeo is the best in the world. So it's like, bro, like ultimate, you know, ultimate yeah, it. yes, 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 yes. It was Mars. Mars ended up winning it. And that was a really good. That was actually a really good match, or that was a good set to watch MKLeo and Mars yeah. on that. Wow, this feels like this feels like a freaking eternity ago. But yeah, that was twenty twenty. So I guess this would be Genesis eight, or because there wasn't one in twenty twenty one. So yeah, but um, I guess uh, also what 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 one more side note for melee. Who won Summit? The Melee Bang. Summit they just had 11? Oh, I'm looking it up. Because, uh, no, they had Mango won the last one, but they had another one, like, th- six months later. Like, less than six months. 12? They did another one already. 12, yeah. They already did one. Uh, IBD- oh, IBDW. Some- IBDW. Yes. That's that's sick, because yeah. he doesn't he hasn't had a lot of, like, yeah, top, he does, top he doesn't have a couple of, notoriety. Yeah, that's he awesome. Many wins, yeah, so shout out to IBDW. Fox player, by the way. Like me. He's like me. Fox player. He's just like me, dude. Um, but I guess yeah. To wrap up Austin, and I'll transition to my one bad plane story. Um, uh, it was it was a great place, great place to visit, uh, cool place to live. It's like for a shady part, like you know, that my brother lived in. It wasn't even, like you know, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. It was nice. Um, I definitely would like consider like living there in the future. So for sure, put it on, mm-hmm. on like. It's just the. The only thing, though, unless you're living in the city, though, that's going to be expensive. But like, it's it's, you know, it's it relatively cheap, dude. I said it's literally like I said, it's my brother's not even paying like not much in rent. Like it's I I I don't want to leak, but it was like I was like really was, like for this place, like the location's not even that bad. Like it's just like you know, it's just the area. It's, well, that's like is that that has to do with like um we didn't bring it up earlier, but like the whole thing of like so many 
Oh, internet content creators are literally moving I, to Austin because was, everything he, is cheaper. He was telling me like, uh, like yeah, I was like, I'm like, he was like, I'm almost. He was my brother said, like, I'm almost a positive like the OTK house is somewhere around this area. Like we went to like a other northern like Austin where like a super nice houses are. It's like I'm like I'm like almost positive the OTK house is here. Like Miss Kip is in the area. Like he's somewhere around here. It's like, huh? That is. So, I was like, that's crazy to think about. And mm. uh, so like, yeah. I think Texas is like Austin's the place to be because it's basically just like new LA. <laughs> so I really like Austin. Hopefully, like I said, I can get maybe it's it's LA before it gets rung dry. Yeah, actually, in the next like thirty years. Actually, so uh, hopefully, so I don't know about post college. I have to think about stuff, but maybe we'll see. Because like, like I think that's like the best of both worlds. Because then I can like get Texas friends. Plus, I can still travel if I need to go to like you know the Midwest or I want to come back and see my good old boy Chris. <laughs> so yeah, that, I guess that. Do it, do it, Sam. Sam, Sam. We can make like a we can make a series where we'll live in the same apartment in Texas, and I'll just like be just we'll just both work there. They, I, I'll be a nurse in I'll be a nurse in Texas. It, yeah, I, I, that would be. Dude, I'm telling you, Texas is the place to be. So hopefully. For my three, for like I said, I had three separate trips to Texas. Uh, one to Austin, Texas. One to Texas A and M, and one to my hometown. And they were all great. So mm-hmm. t- for me personally, I think Texas is the goal. But like you know, like I'm I'm not like I won't be disappointed if I don't get there. So Texas was awesome. Yeah. Great holiday season. Get pog. So yeah. So I mentioned it was about traveling, playing. It's not really. It's a short story, but I can really make it arduous. <laughs> I don't know if I told mm-hmm. you this, but basically, I'll make it. I'll make it short. So we, my parents, so no, this is like, I want to say, I guess four years ago now. Yeah. In 2018. Uh, yeah. Around this time too. Yeah. So I've been like 28. So exactly like four years ago to the day. Um, my, we wanted to go back to my hometown to visit the family. And so like this year we decided like we're going to meet in Austin. So that way we don't have to deal with like, you know, beating in the hometown. It's like border issues, yada, yada. It's like, let's just meet. We're going to meet here. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go to Austin. But you know, at the time we didn't decide that. So my dad had, uh, travels a lot, and at the time, it was like here, I'm like instead of just traveling back to where we live, I'm just gonna go straight there. So he went from like wherever he was. I think he was in Mexico or Germany. I don't, I don't remember. But he was just went directly to freaking uh, my hometown. And so it was just me, my brother, and my mom. I was like, all right, we're gonna get on the plane. We're gonna go. We're gonna meet him there. So we had we went from the Midwest to. Uh, Dallas to where I live. So it was like one, two, three. Um, so the first plane we get to, you know, the airport and we're like ready to go. It's like, all right, we, we load up. Like we were like in the back of the plane, like the very, we got like the cheapest seat possible like in coach. At some point, like, so like if you, if you know what a plane looks like, you know, there's like a, the back area where the bathroom is right on top of it. There was like this little like panel. And so the panel just fell off and you could see like the wires of the plane. And we were like, what <laughs> yeah like what so eventually you know the t- attendee takes t- tells the pilot hey yo we got problem here like we can't take off like this is an issue it's like hold up okay like let's call it's called maintenance so it's like so okay, we're, we're getting delayed it's like okay like everyone like we're ready to fly like everyone's here like you know hold up like time out we gotta fix this so the maintenance guy comes in and this guy got a toolbox and he looks at it and it's like dinkering around with it like he's not really he's not really doing anything but he's there for like 30 minutes and at some point his solution is just duct tape we're good baby i think probably took you yeah. 30 minutes to just duct tape it like they try to like put it back it's like, like are you freaking i was so pissed my mom literally took a picture of it like i don't know if i don't have it but like maybe i'll send it to you if i have it but literally like duct tape it like bro what that is funny as fuck and uh so- i don't know well, here, there's so many things though that they like they'll fix on airplanes with duct tape because it's like it's not a big like right. realistic so yeah. it's not a big deal but you're like hmm like I'm in a fucking metal tube <laughs> in the air and they yeah. fixed it with duct tape like sounds a little unsafe yeah so um, in theory it's not a big deal right as long as we make it to get our if we get to our layover this isn't a bad big, big deal but you know because it took 30 minutes to duct tape like if this guy had just came in and been like oh I could just duct tape this and like two minutes, it's like okay, it would have been easy fix, like no, no del- See, but Sam, this was this guy's thought process. He walked in, he's like, okay, expecting the issue. Paper took like a few minutes. He's like, okay, I'm gonna try this. Ooh, that's a well. I could do the ooh, that didn't work out. Yeah. 
Mm, okay, well, like, okay, you know what? Fuck this. Duct tape. Yeah, and retrospective, like, it's hindsight's twenty twenty. Like, if you just, I, I, I don't know. But uh, this is ends up being him not duct taping it immediately ends up having drastic consequences. Drastic consequences, because almost everyone on this flight misses their layover. Like everyone, and this is a big flight. Like you know, a lot of people are going to like Texas to one place to get to another place. Like the Dallas is not the final stop. So now, like our airline, I want to say it was United or American, I couldn't remember, has like these like what like three hundred people, like a lot the entire fucking airplane yeah, of yeah, fucking at, people be like, look, we what like new, what are, give us a new flight? Yeah, like yeah, what are we supposed to do? And it's like late. It's like like eleven or twelve a.m. So there are no flights going out till the morning. So it's like. Like what do we do? That is so. That so is so the com- so the customer service line is literally like years long, and we're like, "Fuck!" Like, what are we supposed to do? So eventually, we get to the front, and they basically tell us, "Like, look, we're gonna do, like you have we we rescheduled your flight, and like at seven a.m. or whatever, here's the here's like a night at a hotel. Uh, we don't have enough like seats for everyone. Like, there's not enough rooms for everyone on the plane. So like, hurry up. Like, literally, like otherwise, you're just gonna send the rest. Like, basically, like basically, fuck you." First come, first, first, first come, first serve. If you don't have a hotel room by the night, you're 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 just staying here, I guess. Like it was literally like, what the fuck? It was insane. But you said they gave you a hotel, like a night at the hotel. Yeah, but there wasn't enough room for everybody, so people had to like at the hotel yeah. or yeah, at the hotel. Oh, okay. I thought it was in the airplane, so it's just okay, okay. So you had to fucking hide. So you yeah, people had started like had to either had to share rooms or like you know we were like fuck, we, we want our room to ourselves. We want to be the first people out of here. So we like as soon as we could. To, we shared an Uber with this like nice, this nice lady, uh, and we just got to the hotel. And the line's obviously super long, you know. And they're starting to run out of rooms, so my mom pulls a giga giga Chad brain move. My mom sees like this old old lady at the front, uh, like she's probably like 60s, 70s. She's not like you know like senile, but old. But she's a older lady. Yeah, and she she's not speaking any English. She's just, she's not, she's, and she's like, ah, necesito ayuda, necesito ir a, uh, no, Nuevo Mexico, necesito ir a mi, mi hijo, like, you know, and, like, she's, like, you know, she's trying to see her, her son who's in, like, New Mexico, right, so she probably went, like, wherever she's from, Dallas to New Mexico. No, 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 it was Las Vegas, it was Las Vegas, yeah, I remember now. And, um, my mom is a giga chad, so she's like, ah, oh, que necesitas, you know, what do you need, like, what, you know, and she's like, and she, so she plays, like, the translator role, so basically we skipped the line to help this lady. And, uh, you know, now that we're in the front of the line, you know, <laughs> we're like, you might as well be like, Hey, you guys, you know, we're here. You gotta, like, you yeah. This thing for the room. Um, yeah. So hold on. I, I have my wallet. Okay. So, um, we, yeah, we end up skipping the whole freaking line because we end up being nice to this lady. And like, you know, we're like making sure we get this room. So like, I literally, it's like, like somewhere like carries, carry your back, carry your back. So literally like I help her get to a room, like, you know, like carry her back, make sure she got everything. It's like, and like, and like, you know, she's literally like praying to God. Like, I, you see the gracias. Like, she's like, thank, <laughs> thank you for getting, like, she literally says this, like, thank you for sending me these angels for saving me. And like, we like FaceTime, like her son and like her family is like, it's like, like, yeah, it's like ah, like my mom's like, we'll, like you know, we'll, like, like it's like he literally sent like their cousin to come pick her up in the morning to send her to the airport. Like literally, just they just happened to have a cousin in Dallas that could like pick him up and like get her. So she ended up being good. But before she left, so she gave me this because I know I helped her with her bags and stuff. So she gave me this. It's if you can't see, it's little. It's a little G. It's a Jesus card. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, so she, and Jesus, yeah, ho- like Jesus is with you in, in Spanish, and there's a whole prayer on the back. That is so cool. So I, I got one of those. At, I got one of those at work. It's on my little like work box thing. So that. So we end up helping this lady. So we end up like, um, spend, like we end up getting our hotel seats. At least we said, that was the thing. We just want, we were being nice for the wrong reasons because <laughs> we end up getting because yeah. we end up getting our hotel room and like on hit my brother. He end up ordering like some food because we hadn't eaten anything we ended up getting like pizza and like wings from a shitty place and the, we had to pay like the uber like a hell of a lot of cash that we did not want to pay it was either that or like st- either that or wait till morning and then we had to take another flight and then eat <laughs> so he was mm-hmm. like let's just spend something in us so we had like wings and pizza at 3 a.m and went to sleep and woke up like at 7 to take a to go to the airport get on a flight and then end up back at our hometown and we are at our hometown by like 12 i mean uh 12 at, at noon so that was the worst. That's the worst plane story I've ever had. So doesn't sound that bad. Right, exactly. It's kind of like that's just like what happens. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, for 
It wasn't like, oh, I, I got stuck or like, oh. Another thing that kind of is is kind of bad. It's not really that bad. It's just some, it's just kind of like annoying. Is that sometimes this happened to me like I think twice now, where the plane's coming in to like to like land, but the pilot like fucks up or something. Like they don't, they realize like we're not gonna slow down like fast enough. Like they so they just they just like they go like mm, boom and then they relaunch. Like some it happened. This, it's happened actually both times here where we are right now. Um. Uh, Amateur pilots, bro. Yeah, I literally so put me put me on the sticks, bro. Yeah, we're, we're landing. <laughs> so yeah, okay. like literally, like yeah, it's literally like we're about to land. You hear like the pff, as, as the plane going down, and they're like, uh, and we're back up. <laughs> and like you know, but it's, yeah, so they say some stuff about, like some random excuse, but they definitely just fucked up. <laughs> so they rather just be safe and just keep it, and then just like they're like, oh, uh, so do the yeah, I do shut the fuck up. Yeah, so they take some fly the plane. Yeah, like like they like do a circle and they try again. They get it right this time. But that happened to me the on the way there. But that was just like I literally me actually I don't care like I have my earbuds in I'm just like like oh we landed oh no we didn't okay <laughs> so but that's that's my worst oh, plane story I, and that was oh, I just kicked my camera hold up that's my worst plane story and it's not even that bad so but I kind of want to wrap up because we're kind of this podcast is pretty long now because I'm looking at the we had to like we have to mesh the recordings and looking at this one this one's almost I mean yeah it'll, well it'll be an extra long episode how about that it'll be our Christmas and New Year's and podcast. It'll be super epic. So, um, it goes into two things now, but you said you talked about your AirPods earlier. So, my younger brother, he's in middle school. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, like, I want to get some AirPods, you know, like, you know, cool, cool kid in middle school, right? Buy some AirPods. He gets the AirPod Pros. So, I like that, run to the store. Nice. Or, no, I think my dad ordered them. Yeah. And, Cause I mean, I don't, I don't listen to music enough outside of like my car or at my computer with these on to need like those. And he gets those and like a week later, then it's like, it's like the week, you know, a few days before Christmas, like week before Christmas, that type of shit. And, uh, what is it? My dad was immediately like, I want these, <laughs> go buy me these. Like, I want this for Christmas. Go get me these. <laughs> like. Cause yeah, like the sound quality is really nice, the, nice. and also the uh, yeah, yeah. For me, my biggest use for them is the gym, the gym. Like just to noise, literally, little noise cancel out all the freaking weird people, all the weird people at the gym, and like to have like the good pump going while you're just and you don't have to deal with like the so nice. So mm-hmm. I think I can see that, but like, but like the pros, those are like two hundred. Yeah. Right, so around, the biggest under, issue is but... price. Uh, I think my so my I have a friend who's like very anti Apple. It's like, bro, Apple computer sucks. Apple phones suck. Apple accessories suck. And he was like, I was like, okay, I can get, I can agree with Apple computers, but like, bro, the iPhone and like the accessories are not that bad. It's like, bro, you could get the same thing for cheaper. I was like, what do you mean? And like, he showed me like, you know, you get these bows, you can get these, like, you know, there's definitely other like not AirPods you can get. It's just AirPods kind of like the luxury brand. It's kind of like the Louis Vuitton or like the Gucci of like technology. So it's kind of like mm-hmm. just like the. Like if you are really trying to like save your money like that, like there are AirPod equivalents that are cheaper. Yes, but like the point of buying Apple is you just it's Apple, like you said, it's the luxury brand. Yeah, brand basically. Like why why get a normal purse when I can get Louis Vuitton? Mm-hmm. It's got it's got funny ye- le- yellow L's and these are these are white. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like it's literally the same thing. So. These get dirty easily. Okay, look, <laughs> you, we are not um, we are not the same. <laughs> and the next thing I wanted to talk about, I thought I don't know. It's so far, I've only done it a few times. It's so much fun. Is so well, obviously, like I said, me and my brother, we got guns, yeah. <laughs> guns for Christmas. Santa, Santa dropped some shotguns down the chimney. Uh, I got a green double pump. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite <laughs> <laughs> double pump, and. There's a uh, like uh, like uh, a shooting place we go to near us, and a thing we did literally like this last like three four days ago. It's a thing called five stand. I don't know what that is. So again, to I will add, it's clay shooting. So you know the things through the yeah, clay, yeah, yeah. you gotta you know aim and shoot at it. It's called five stand. Mm-hmm. It's literally you can do it in winter. You're in a literal w- cabin, like not cabin, like a a bo- like a thing trailer something there's windows it's heated yeah so it's nice and toasty you just sit there and even better you don't even have to launch the clays or you don't even have to keep score 
So there's just a dude that goes, okay, one, go. And you're like, like, you know, and it shoots like two clays at once and that type of shit. And you just go in a line. That's fun. So it was literally, yeah, it's five spots. So it was, like five of us went. So we we're all just sitting there as a group, just like. Also, I will add to it is very fast paced. You are going through like 50, 50 shots, 50 shots like per round. So you are going through a lot of ammo. Damn. Another thing I will add. So with these, we got you. You have to wear like a vest that has these fat pockets that you just stuff with shotgun shells. <laughs> Dude, it's so literally like, these giant pockets. I just imagine like like you know like in Call of Duty Black Ops Two or like you have like the Olympia where you like pop out the sh- like the shotgun shells and just shove them in there and just. <laughs> yeah. But. The ones we have, they're semi-automatic, so they just they go they shoot out. Nice. This side. Yeah, so much fun. So. Shot, sh- shotguns are fun. Shotguns are indeed fun. Um, but yeah, so to wrap up, uh, uh, I guess the episode or just whatever my topics, I want to talk about a couple, oh, couple, no, 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 we aren't done yet. Oh, I, I... if you thought you were about to click off or stop watching the video, we're not done. This podcast is extra long. Okay. Hold on. I... We brought this up earlier. Okay. All right. So you're going to say, before. I wanted to talk about just like, right, just like current events, like things that happen in the news. What did you want to talk about? My thing I was just bringing up are current events. Uh, like what you were bringing up? I was going to say that Spider-Man stuff we were talking oh, about. On yes. Our little okay. Break okay. Thing. Yes. Yeah. So we finally, I think it's fair. We can finally spoil the movie. It's been out for like. Yeah. Okay. And I thought about it. I let it. Spider-Man. I let it sit for a bit. Yeah, so it, because I was like, I watched mm-hmm. the movie. So like, okay. So first of all, one. Sp- first off, yeah. We're spoiling Spider-Man No Way Home. Spoilers. So if you haven't seen it. Second yeah. of all, the story of how we got there is kind of funny because I fucked up. Because <laughs> I oh yeah, so yeah, I yeah. bought so we, I, there's a movie theater that we always I, I always go to where we live, and I was like I'm, I buy tickets like weeks earlier, and then I we go there. I was like, huh, where's like the, you know we got the seats like I I oh, so, no no what happened is we we go to the theater we're like wait the, our ticket says this movie starts at seven like fifteen or seven, but this thing so says seven fifteen. Yeah, like we are. so we double check. We're confused. I I I the front, I, desk. I the front desk. I ask him, "Hey, where's like you know where's this movie theater?" And he's like, "Oh, this is the wrong. You went to the wrong movie theater." It's like there. You, you 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 got tickets for the movie theater across town. town. Yeah. you got the wrong one. I forgot they build it. They- we <laughs> we already got we already got our fucking popcorn, <laughs> yeah. our drinks. We're, I'm sitting there next to you sipping my slushie, and he's like, "Yeah, that's the wrong. You're at the wrong theater, dude." I literally is like, I totally forgot they built a new movie theater, and I just assumed that this was like you know, I just assumed the one I was like, "Oh yeah, this is the movie theater." When I bought the tickets, mm-hmm. so but good. good so the guy who's like just immediately just like, "Yeah, go ahead, dude." He's like, yeah, just and, go to that one. And, but, and the seats were fired too, so we weren't even that bad. So we got literally like, 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 middle center, but like slightly to the back of it. Yeah. So it was like perfect. Yeah. Seat. And there was so nobody was around awesome. us, so there was no like, no, no movie theater Andes that were like, yeah, what? yeah. No little kids like bouncing up and down like. Yeah. So there wasn't any nothing super like, oh my god, shut up. It was literally just like fine, good movie theater experience, mm-hmm. which. It's, it's you know it's kind of like you know we haven't had those in a while because of you know Mr. COVID, but now we'll spoil the movie. <laughs> then I, and after like thinking about it for a couple, like, I guess yeah, almost two weeks now, it's really freaking good. <laughs> it's, it's it's good. It's, it's so good. so freaking good. So like I said I I I think it I think it might be my favorite Spider Man. Um, I'm it's a close. It's like almost so close to first place. I can't I can't give it to it because and this is my reason why because I thought about it because I was talking about someone I was talking to my no there was I was I was, I was ah I was watching a streamer and he was talking about the new Matrix movie and the Matrix movie is is how to do No Way Home wrong because the No Way Home uh you know is essentially you know there's a lot of like you know there's a lot of quote unquote nostalgia bait. Where like uh, they bring back the old villains like, and spoiler alert, that's your last chance. Spoilers. They bring back the last spider, like the old two Spider Mans, um, and they're like, and they're, they're in the entire third act of the movie, like they're in it. Like yeah, it's not like they show up like, hey, other Spider Man, let's beat the bad. They're like, they're like, they're there, they're there yeah. for like a solid like forty to thirty minutes. Like they are in the movie for like a long time, and at the end, you know, and it's like you know. I don't like being panadu. I don't like the, the like the haha nostalgia. Like remember this scene in the movie, like and the matrix yeah, yeah. and the matrix movie, the new one does that, but it's bad, <laughs> and it's not. They go no, a- Mr. Anderson. You're like oh, he said that yeah, the last l- one. Like <laughs> literally, yes, that is that is the new matrix movie, and 
And it's not good. And literally, like, the new one was, like, literally, like, Warner Bros. forced us to make this movie, so we're going to make it shitty, like, on purpose. Like, it was literally, like, so obviously, like, not well planned, and it was just so bad. Well, this was clear, like, well, this was more, like, the greatest fan fiction I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was, like, and people clearly, like... Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are like being like themselves like being like they're having fun with it and also like all the villains too like recasting their roles you know like 20 years later like it's it's fucking great and Willem Dafoe fun fact bro you know he's from you know where he's from Wisconsin where is he's from Wisconsin yeah he's from where is he's he from? like Appleton Wisconsin if you know where that is Really? That's like, by the way, just to keep it right, that's super close to where we are. Like, and he, nah, super close, but it's still like and, an hour away from and us. And right? this is a fun fact: he went to UW Milwaukee. He went to UW Milwaukee for one year, and he dropped out. Yeah, I the, the little I know about William Defoe is he did like theater stuff, like not he didn't do it in like high school and like yeah. I think maybe it was like college or after yeah, college. There's a there's like a, a good vi- there's thing. a good video on YouTube like about his acting career cuz he was like I didn't plan on being an actor. I was, I was just like doing it for a bit. I was like I guess this is just what I do. Yeah, yeah. This is just what I, I do that. now. And uh he steals the show in this movie. Like he is so great as the green Seriously. as the green goblin. There's like two like fight scenes I have in my mind where he's just like and I saw some behind the scenes stuff. It's like Willem Dafoe said like he's like he, he only agreed to this movie for two things. It's like one he had to do his own stunts. So every stunt you see is Willem Dafoe. It's him. He's like, well, he's 60. Funny, <laughs> funny enough, too, it was like that in the first Spider-Man. Yeah. Did you know that? He was like, every time you see Green Goblin in that suit, that is me. Yeah. I am Green Goblin. He's like a Met. Like, I'm the Green Goblin. Yeah. And I was, like, like, so, like, and by the way, like, I said, at the time in 2002, you know, like, I could see, like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. He could do it. Like, he's like. That's 20 years younger. Yeah, he's, than yeah, he's like 40 years old. Like, I can see, like, you know, he's not. He's not like in his prime, but you know, he can still do that stuff. He's like sixty. He's like my grandma. Like <laughs> he's a grown ass man fighting Tom Holland, who's like in his prime. <laughs> like I well, it's less of they're not actually fighting, but it's more of just having him to physically do all that shit. Yeah, like, that might be a little demanding. My grandma was just like, you know, him. like oh, I don't need to do that anymore. Well, well, also he's got that Hollywood fucking you know True. juiced up money magic, so he's jacked. Probably got all the yeah, magic serum. I, I love all the memes of like Willem Dafoe with like drip, like drip. <laughs> yeah, and like yeah, it's like a fast food photo. It's just some guy walks up on the street, like, yo, what you wearing? Willem's like, oh, he's got like the yeah, yeah. head, like, <laughs> he's like going up and down his fit with the camera. Yeah, dude, Willem. <laughs> Like, Willem Dafoe steal the show. So does Alfred Molina. All the villains are great in the show. Even the ones that played like minor roles, like Jamie Fox. Like, Jamie Fox. You talking about? He was the main villain of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. 2. I mean, no. Like, are you saying minor roles in the new in the one? new one? Like, obviously, the, the, okay. the Green Goblin is like the big, the big, like the main bad guy in this movie, like easily. Um, and like, so I was thinking about. So one thing you were talking about is like the ending. It's like how you don't like the ending, and I realized why people, some people do like the ending. So a lot of people mm-hmm. were complaining about Spider-Man. Like, this is, like, MCU Spider-Man. Like, this isn't, quote-unquote, real Spider-Man. And um, Actually, this Spider-Man yeah. doesn't count. Yeah, literally. So a lot of people saw this, like, ending of the movie as, like, a... Um, as like a, it's, uh, like, it's like it a, it's is, like a hard reset. It's like a soft reset. Yes, it's a hard reset. And now, I, that was actually one of those videos we were talking about earlier, too, is, like, now this is... He is... Spider Man. Spider Man now, because he is I, I, you know, humble beginnings. He had lost a loved one. I saw, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like... I saw a good clip, and they, I saw a good clip or like a comment on a YouTube video. It's like, oh man, because, quote, spoilers again, because Aunt May dies, you know, he's going to be guilty. He's going to blame himself forever. It's like, that's Spider Man. Like, you just. That's Spider Man. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that's that's the right it. answer. Like, <laughs> like, that is Spider Man. And, uh, so, like, and, and, like, having the old Spider Man, like, relate, like, oh, I lost, I lost Ben, I lost Gwen. I was in, like, seeing, like, ah, this movie, this movie was fantastic. I, at the end of the day, I, that my one discredit is just using Nostalgia Bay, but it's, like, good Nostalgia Bay. It's, like, the best Nostalgia but- Bay I've ever seen. And like, you know, people. I almost seem it. I, they, they kind of, like, they're, they're almost self aware of it. Yeah. When they're doing the nostalgia bait, like the little like one off where the character says something, they don't do it because like it's so important to the plot. When William, when fucking uh, yeah, uh, William Osmond goes, I'm somewhat of a scientist by, myself. Yeah, they didn't add that because it's funny. Yeah, it, it, you know? it's like when when Toby Maguire is like, oh like my back. god, <laughs> <laughs> like shit like that is like that's like that's that's how you should do it. Like and don't make them like that's, don't like make them just like a cheap like a uh, gag. Like make it like funny and then also like make them a real character because like you know. 
like Andrew Garfield, like like almost crying as he like saves MJ, like that, like that, like it's like yeah, like that's like he's that's, that's he's like, Peter yeah, Parker. That's straight, that's that is straight redemption. No, that's that's straight redemption from his movie. Exactly, like it's literally like bro, like it was fucking fantastic. I fucking loved it. I can't put it over like Spider Man Two though because that's that's truly original and that's like you know like that is like Spider Man in a movie and it's like completely just like original like no. It just coming. Well, this is like inspire other movies and keep from other movies. But it's like so close. It's like this stand. At some point, I might even put it up there, like above it. But right now, it's like so close. It's like time in first place. I fucking love No Way Home. It was amazing. Okay. Thinking more on it now, why I think this is the best is because, my opinion, some of the best, like action and fighting. Oh. Like, seriously. It's, dude. Especially that fucking fight with Green Goblin towards the end. That is so fucking badass. Right. That is so cool. Right. He slams yeah, him dude, through a fucking freaking, floor, like, this dude. Is, William Dafoe is 60 years old and he's fucking... Uh, okay, obviously there had to been some movie magic. He didn't literally fucking pick him up and slam him through the floor. I, I know, but... but like, it just like, like imagine like, so like, like literally, I just imagine like the scene, like in like the, the table range, like, so I'm gonna slam him on the ground and then I'm gonna... He's gonna punch me in the face. It's like okay, <laughs> like okay, and, and then yeah, he's gonna punch me, and I'm gonna pick him up and throw him through the concrete okay. floor into the second. Frame. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> oh, they're like okay, and, then, and I heard some shit. And he does like that. He does the William smile. Like. <laughs> hey, how does he do? It? He literally looks like a cre- like. It's just it's just his face. It's just how his face. He has a very big like wide mouth kind of. Yeah, and then what else? Fuck, what else did he do that was great? Apparently, there's that scene where like Goblin takes over in uh, Happy's uh, apartment. Apparently, they did that scene like thirty times, and they just and they just let Willem Dafoe do his thing. Like they literally just like. They had, he had obviously like his lines, but at some point they were like, well, no, nah, do it again, do it again. Like, I, that wasn't right. And they were like, apparently all the actors were like, bro, he's fucking crazy. Like, what the fuck is wrong with, like, like, as in like, he's so in, he's so into it. You know what I mean? He's so into being the Green Goblin. That's, that's cool. Though. That's, that's, so, that's so awesome, right? He, he's so good. And, um, and another thing. What? That what was what, like I was saying, it's action. Um. What is it like the emotional draw to that? No other Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Where, like when Aunt May dies, like I was. I was there, yeah, because the, the big thing about crying. a big complaint is that there was no consequences to this Peter Parker's actions. Like you know, like, uh, what's it called? Like you no, know, MJ never got her in Far From Home, or like, um, Ned and Liz. Like you know, they didn't get hurt from being involved with like the Vulture. Like there was like this isn't Peter Parker, right? This kid's literally just like Zoomer Peter Parker. He likes Fortnite. He's like, yeah, but it, it just didn't happen yet. Yeah, so this so this is kind of like the Peter Parker origin story. So this is kind of like this is kind of cool because it really hasn't been done before. Because if you think about it, he's in what one, two? He's in five movies before this one because he's in both Avengers movies and both uh, Spider Man movies. Both Avengers and uh, Infinity War and Game. Oh, okay, you, okay, never mind. I was thinking of like the first oh, and two and yeah, technically six and Civil War. So like Civil War, yeah. Homecoming, Avengers, Infinity War, and Game, Far From Home, and then now No Way Home. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then, yeah. So hopefully, Tom Holland comes back. A lot of people really are like really, really advocating for Andrew Garfield to come back as Spider Man, even though now he's like in his late thirties. So. I think an Amazing Spider Man three would be cool, but like that, like leave it at that. Like just like yeah. make like a next. That'd be kind of cool, but also Andrew's kind of getting you know he's trying to like I said uh, Tom McGuire is old. Like they they they, they, just, they didn't even try to like like. Because what I like about this movie is that, like, t- you know, Tom Holland's still in college. I mean, no, Tom Holland's still in high school. Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was in college. And then, like, you know, Tom McGuire's a freaking old-ass man. Like, they're, like, all... He's, like, yeah, he's, They're like... all different ages. So, like, you know, looking at it from that perspective, it kind of makes it sense. Like, you know, you don't necessarily have to watch the old movies because, like, they kind of explain everything. You know, you don't have... You don't, like, you, like... They make it so. Well, they they kind of they kind of recap and sort of condense them into almost like caricatures. Where yeah. Toby has matured to have like resolve. Andrew is what is going to happen it, to you know. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Tom Holland, where it's like that's what the next step is. If he if he versus, if he does try to get revenge, and then like Tom Holland, we're like like, and, like he's Tom Holland. It's the president. Yeah. So yeah. So like current. it's kind of, it kind of like encapsulates it in like one movie. So you don't really need to watch it, but you can. That's the thing. That's what makes it cool is that most people are probably going to go back and rewatch all the Spider-Man movies and be like, oh, now it makes sense. So it's mm-hmm. like... Oh, another thing too, at the end, that fucking Venom tie-in. Ooh, right. So that's what a lot of people are assuming that the next Spider-Man movie will be Venom as the Venom villain. 
Uh, maybe with Andrew Garfield. I don't know. People don't really know what's next with Spider-Man because we live in like weird times. Because mm. it's there's no way they're gonna do Andrew Garfield because like they yeah. You know how confusing that is where yeah. it's like, well, this is Spider-Man that just came out, but, like, this isn't Spider-Man that I saw, like, two years ago? Like, mm. Yeah, we'll see. They, they, they Multiverse confirmed. Like, so, two things. Daredevil is in the movie. <laughs> and I, That's cool. I went to go, I was, I went back, so while I was in Austin, there was, yeah, I spent one extra day. My brother, he was watching Hawkeye, and Kingpin is also confirmed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's he's a villain. He's the villain in Hawkeye, and I like the actor. Mm-hmm. The way they the way they do like the action in in Hawkeye for Kingpin is literally exactly how you imagine. Like just a big fucking dude, <laughs> and like he punches like a, like somebody, and he just go fly, like cartoonishly like fly across the screen like oh like, and he's just a big man. He's like wearing like a Hawaiian suit like suit like he's just like. Oh, I have people. I will pay big money for to make sure he's dead. Like literally, like perfect kingpin. I'm like so, Daredevil movies. Like multiverse is confirmed. So like the door is wide open for Spider Man and everything else. So hopefully mm-hmm. this isn't the end of Tom Holland Spider Man. I would love to just see like a brand new. It, there's there's no way it is because what they're setting up now is just like a S- Spider Man movie. Yeah. So you know, I default. I fucking loved it. It was so good. Um. No way home was great. So, um, another thing what was I gonna bring up to uh, shit. It was Spider Man. I just had an amazing Sp- G- G- Toby Garfield. Toby, to- Toby Garfield. <laughs> Andrew Garfield. Toby Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Toby Garfield. Uh, Otto Octavius. Bat Spider. Spud- Spuderman. Um. Oh, at first it's like I didn't like. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I didn't like it at first because it's like. It leaves, like, it, looking back now, it's like, yeah, it's cool for, like, the next movies and the rest of the series and, like, the like character of Spider-Man. But, like, what a sour taste that leaves you where it's, like, all of that he's gone through, all of – it's basically, like, the entire, like, Marvel bullshit, like – Didn't matter. Like, the Avenger, it doesn't matter. What was the point? Right. I, I... Like, that's so, like, that's so, like – what's some why did you show us that then if you're just going to take it away but then like that's kind of the point that's kind of the point that's that's the thing that spider this is see but now it's like why should i care about this tom holland because none of that matters now he's like a new character which is you know i don't know i think he like i'm not sure like i said i feel like it's kind of a cop-out too but i also don't know how to like solve it because like this peter is different from other peters and it's not like the quote-unquote real peter parker but now it is Mm -hmm. because he lost like because now he lost, you know, Aunt May, and uh, this is like, you know, this is like who he is now. Like, who knows? It's like, like now they can, now the doors wide open, so they can introduce like Gwen Stacy. They can introduce uh, uh, Black Cat. Oh yeah, Felicia Hardaway. They can, <laughs> they can introduce. I don't know how they would do Oscorp, especially in you know Oscorp. Oscorp doesn't exist in the Marvel universe, but like maybe they can do like Harry somehow. Uh, they are. They hinted at Ned becoming like a. Magic. I saw that those. It was wait what? Like this, because he had like the portal opening power. Like he had like Doctor Strange powers. Like he could do that. So you're hinted at him being like you know maybe like a potential villain, slash uh, like new hero. I heard. I saw something that was a. It was probably a fake leak or something. But like I was like, oh, that'd be a cool idea. This was like months and months ago. Of like some, you know that part where Ned, where they're like, yeah, best friend tried to kill me. Yeah, and Ned's like, I'm not gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, he looks at him. Like, yeah, I, it was. Yeah, he looks at him and like he looks at Andrew and Toby. He's like, he's like, <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. like, don't be like us. So, so it's like, okay, okay. and it was the leak of that it was like Ned, like Green Goblin tried to like trick Ned and he gave him that Green Goblin thing. So like he was like evil for like a part of it, kind of. Like, that was, like, a supposed leak, which, I mean, would kind of be cool where it's, like, Ned's, like, you know, like, oh, like, he's, you know, making Tom question his friendship with that, and then he ends up saving him. He's, like, Tom, Tom Holland, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> oh, I got nothing else. Like I said, we could just keep telling, like, just go watch it. It's We could just keep going on it. We could keep on, talking about but... how fucking great this movie is, but you could go watch someone else's YouTube video or just go watch the movie again. Like, literally, like, it's so good. Just so, 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 so good. So, yeah. That's that's all I want to say about Spider-Man. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I started reading, so I started, I guess, technically reading, but hearing a Spider-Man comic. So I'm reading the Ultimate Spider-Man comics now. I just kind of like to get my, I was like, I need more. 
are. <laughs> you know, after like just getting mm-hmm. the, the taste of the multiverse, so I was just like, oh yeah, this is great. So that's what I, that's what I'm gonna do until hopefully a new Spider-Man movie comes out. So yeah, but we got like probably like four years. Yeah, at least actually, somewhere. sadly though, it's gonna be a while. We'll see. But anyway, I said now I want to just talk about like current event stuff, plus like some uh some fandom stuff. Number one, uh, it's 2022 now. <laughs> yeah, it's New Year. New Year, but before the New Year ended, uh, a couple famous people died. Uh, two, two that are not super important, but like kind of like oh shit, they're dead now. Like they're yeah. notable. Yeah, number one, John Madden. Uh, if you care about football, you know, obviously like the voice of the Madden games. <laughs> if you ever played those, mm-hmm. so I thought, and like and my dad was like, oh yeah, he used to like voice all the, he commented all the games. Like damn, that kind of sucks. Like he's kind of dead now. Uh, yeah. and it's funny because like literally the documentary before John Madden just came out. Like, literally, like, it came out, like, on Christmas. They were waiting. They were waiting for that fucking flat line. Like, okay, post it, post it. <laughs> and then freaking get, yeah, now we're going to get all the views. But, yeah. But, yeah, like that. So I might watch that at some point because it's, you know, pretty cool. Like, you know, he won a Super Bowl with the Raiders as a coach and then became, like, a really famous broadcaster. So cool, cool, cool fo- football legend. You know, rest in peace. And then the other one was mm-hmm. uh, Betty White, which I was, like, Okay. Damn. Yeah. I thought she was immortal. <laughs> yeah, she was ninety nine. She's one of those. Ce- she was one of those celebrities that just can't die. Yeah, she literally but, just oh refused well. to die, and she looked like you know in her seventies. But now, finally, she 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 ended up dying right before the New Year's. She kicked the bucket. Yeah. And the bucket had a live grenade in it. So yeah, those and then those were really the two big two things in uh, news. But you know, for us, Kanye stands. We stay up, up with the news. So literally, so while I was in Austin, while this whole time with my family, I was looking at like you know like what's going on with Kanye, and I literally saw that he like bought a house <laughs> across mm-hmm. from Kim Kardashian. And I was talking to my brothers like, bro, this is how Gatsby got shot. Like literally, like Gatsby tried to move next to Daisy, and this is how he died. <laughs> and uh, but eventually, I think he like tore down the house like he just wanted to have like a house near her if he wanted to go visit the kids or something that's what he ended up doing but the yeah. news gets... i mean that's that makes sense because he's just somewhere just like you know have time with the kids i doubt he's gonna be in it much yeah it's and just... it just it's just funny though it's like your ex-wife you move <laughs> in the house across the street right in front of yeah. like i think it's, it's, it's just funny it's a place to stay if he wants to visit the kids i guess i don't know it's kind of cool uh mm-hmm. but and then another thing he posted on his instagram on new year's i like Miami party with future. And I was, I, I was literally said, I didn't do anything on New Year's Eve. Like, I didn't, I wasn't like out partying or anything because of COVID. I was just with the family. So, literally, at like midnight, I'm like, where is it? So I literally look for like a lot. I was assuming it's going to be like a concert. I was like live streaming, like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was a party. Yeah, it was literally just a party. I mentioned like, there was like Snapchat. So, it was just like him, like, like, Aah. I was like, oh man, I thought it was a concert. So, I thought that, oh man. Um, but apparently, according to Justin LeBoy, Donda Two is in the works. It's not obviously. It's not going to be called Donda Two because that'd be a terrible name. First of all, okay. But like, was, that's that's Kanye would do that. Kanye would Kanye would do that. Kanye that'd be such a Kanye thing. Just to do. Donda Two, number eleven album out now. But uh, no, nah, th- there was a bunch of clips released of him like back in the studio going to work. Uh, but like, yeah, Don Don quote unquote Don. Obviously, I hope to God it's not called Don the two. But whatever he's working on next is is in the works now. So hopefully, we'll have something by at least next year. Uh, but uh, I saw that all that stuff going on with Kanye. I thought those and and he's now oh and he's he had a date with Julia Fox. Did you see that? I've seen that. Dude, I've Julia that. Fox yeah. is so fucking hot. <laughs> can i just say that can i just say that unironically i went to say, what do you do he's kind dude and uh she's like what she's not old. she's like 30 while like kanye is like in his 40s and uh early 40s if you've seen uncut you saw you saw uncut gems right you you were there yes we, watched, we saw it together she's so hot in that movie <laughs> like god damn it yeah yeah he's freaking still pulling dude at 44 years well, dude, old he's yay dude he is yay the greatest. He is the greatest. So, um, that... A fake... I had to look it up. A fake leak I saw, because it was like following the house thing. It was a... Uh, it was like a, a fake TMZ post or tweet of like Kanye caught hiding in Kim K. Bush's. <laughs> and the photo is a guy in like a Bush like ghillie suit. Like, <laughs> it looked like drone footage. It was obviously fake, but like I was like, 
Kanye would do this. What the fuck? Is this real? <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't. But, like, I'm at, like, Kanye dressed in, like, the, the bush suit, like, waiting, like, looking in the window and shit. <laughs> He's, like, Fortnite, like, just, like, waiting with, like, the And bush. Kim's like, Kanye, is that you? Get the f- What are you doing? Kim. <laughs> God, we, come on. We can work this, this out. out. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I, I saw all the crazy news going on. I Hopefully, he keeps keeps up with the, so, like, the, not the social media presence, but at least, like, you know. He's alive because there was a time where he was like, wow, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> like, he's covering his face up and he's never, he doesn't show his face anywhere. Now he's like, you know, out in public doing shit. So he's not like trying mm-hmm. to avoid the media. So we'll at least know what's going on with him now. So that was kind of cool to see, especially over the holidays. I was just kind of like, bro, yeah, he's living his best life. Like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's see. What else do I have written down? Oh, um new sh- scripted confirmed scripted oh no it's scripted uh i finally uh, i was talking to you so we were while we were when we got disconnected because of freaking uh the internet i finally uh so i got to catch up on one show uh not anime unfortunately <laughs> i will this i will this probably starting tomorrow honestly i'll probably start catching up because like i have a lot of time now so i'm gonna go to the gym work on youtube stuff uh and watch anime such tv shows mm-hmm. uh i had enough time though to download on the plane i had, I literally flipped a coin so you ended up being on the long, on wrong side i was like either, it was either gonna be chainsaw man i was gonna be chainsaw man or i was gonna watch the witcher so i ended up watching the witcher <laughs> um uh you don't give a shit about the witcher right chris nope uh i i i think hmm, it's okay so this is my take so i'll, I'll keep it short because you don't really care but essentially, you no. Know keep it even shorter because I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Netflix is basically trying to make Game of Thrones two, but mm-hmm. like uh, the, the they're not adapting Witcher the, universe. If you like, if you're like, or, I, said, I think any. I because we, we were talking to my friend. Right? We were talking about earlier. Our friend Evan. He's like a big Witcher fan. He played the games and he read all the books. I have. Yep. I've seen parts of the games and I have not, I've never touched the books. And I've seen like three minutes of total gameplay of Witcher. Yeah, my my brother really liked Witcher three. It was like Witcher three was really good when it came out, um, twenty fifteen, I think, so about six years ago. But, um, basically, I said I think as a viewer of like who doesn't really play the games, uh, but never read the books, it's fine. It's serviceable. I liked it. Uh, hopefully it gets better because it's like you know I remember if if if, if assuming because like I saw like I looked it up like. Netflix has like seven seasons planned. Like they, they're like they're like full, they're they're all in. Like they're invested. Like it's not like Squid Games level popularity. Like Squid Games was like worldwide. Like Squid Games. Squid Games made them so much money. Like they didn't even like there was like guaranteed season two. Like they was like oh my god. Like this is this is the hit. But like mm-hmm. they really invested all. They they invested a lot into The Witcher and they have gone a lot back. But it's not number one and that's kind of their biggest issue. So hopefully, so this season two wasn't. See, but also too, like, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be number one, but like, as long as it's good, right? You know, as long as it is, not it was up there. Bad, yeah. It's that's, top. That's it's good. top ten. So that's kind of. I think that's kind of the goal. And uh, as mm-hmm. a viewer, as a, I was fine. It was basically. It was basically. Uh, it was good enough to where I don't think it was in like you said. You know my my viewer scale. It wasn't in the un- classic Sam review scale. It wasn't in the uncanny valley because there were a pretty like Henry Cavill as the Witcher is like the best best casting ever. Ever since Spider Superman, <laughs> like I don't know, he's, he's kind of like typecasted as just like a you know big strong guy, but he does it s- giga giga strong. But man. here he does it so well, and he's like witty too and super funny, and he's like and he's a freaking Chad. The choreography is great. So, but choreography and also fun. If you didn't know, Henry Cavill is a gamer. Yeah, that's the thing. So he has a so because he's a gamer, he has a huge respect for The Witcher. Like he loves The Witcher three, like so like he like does his re- he does his research. Like clearly he loves being Gerald, or G- Gerald. My bad, sorry. Gerald. Yeah, like literally, he like he's super into like mm, yes, like you know Witcher. Like I have long blonde. I have long gray hair. Yeah, yeah, literally. So. Uh, and they're like, "Oh my God, Geralt, you're The Witcher 3. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, 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 my biggest complaint from my friend was that it's not like the books, and I, and I can understand coming from a guy who's like, you know, bro, the anime is not all like the manga, or like, <laughs> dude, the manga is better. It's the source material. This is what the author intended. When exactly. He wrote it. <laughs> but also too. Um, there, this was a huge dispute too. I've heard uh, like researched and like watched videos and stuff on of. 
the author of the series and the game studio CD Projekt Red that made the games were ba- they, it was just basically like what the author wanted just wouldn't be a good game so like look we we can't do this in the game but he's like this is my book you sh- you can't do it yeah and it's like yeah. kind of just being a, a jerk like a jerk yeah, and the games are good by the way so people like so people complain yes like the games are good and the story's good and the games basically are like the sequel to the books like think about it you read a bunch of books and i have to play a bunch of video games <laughs> like mm-hmm. um and and these and these uh move this show covers the books and I could say it's like oh, it's kind. I thought it was like a game. No, it, it's like, not. It doesn't cover the game. It covers the books. So this is kind of like a prequel to the game. So if you played the games but never read the books, it's kind of like a prequel because, in the game, like Siri's very old. Like she's like in her, I think her like twenties or something. Here she's literally like eighteen. Like she's barely like, she's barely, she's still a kid. Like she's still learning how to be like what life's about. And you know, now he has to freaking now the Witcher has to freaking take care of this freaking like girl. <laughs> So, and she's like, "Mr. Witcher, what do we do?" And he's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. "Like, yeah, actually, just, yeah. they have like a cool, like you know, like Jedi, like training, like series, 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 slowly becoming a badass. Not yet, obviously, because she has like magic and Witcher powers, and like she's like kind of like the chosen one, kind of. Plus, everyone and like they're trying to like they're literally trying to set up like Game of Thrones. Like, there's literally like a bunch of kingdoms. There's actually a huge twist at the end I didn't see coming. That was like kind of like kind of like." put the nice cherry on top for the season. Cause I was like, I don't know what this season's like leading up to something and it's setting up the next season. What the hell's going on? And then they have a final, like literally last scene twist. I was like, Holy shit. I literally jumped out of my seat. Cause I, I, I was watching the whole thing on the plane. And then I got the last episode, like the last, last couple, like 15 minutes. Like I had like some food in my kitchen over there. And I was like, just watching it. Like, <laughs> You're like Torian Lannister. Tyrion, yeah, Peter Dinklage is just like yeah, that, Tyrion Lannister. That wizard came from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so, uh, but Witcher season two, uh, perfectly serviceable, perfectly fine. Loki kind of mid, but like hopefully, if if Netflix keeps improving, because I think this is better than season one, if they just keep improving, uh, they'll be they'll be good. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Hopefully, I said no, my plan is next. I'll probably either watch JoJo's or read Chainsaw Man. Or my brother introduced. He showed me eighty six. It was. It's a show that's been on my radar for a while. I, I've never heard of that. I've never. I said. I literally. It's like at the top. Ever since like fall, it's been on the top of Mal, and I've been meaning to watch it. But obviously, you know, school was like took top priority. Like. I barely have time. School Loki, school Loki went hard. I literally have, like I said, I barely have time to do YouTube and like you know do gym. How the fuck am I supposed to fit anime into this? So watch like thirty minutes before bed. So yeah, so yeah, I I could do that, but like I was already behind on the episodes, and then I'm and then I'm the type of guy that's like, well, I could like watch a couple more episodes, right? <laughs> like, well, it's, I, I I'll be fine. I'll like only get like two hours of sleep before my class. It's yeah, okay. so yeah, because I don't want to like I don't want to like watch a really good episode and be like, fuck, that was really good. I can watch them. <laughs> so yeah. I don't. I don't want to be tempted by that. So I usually try to like have, like have a day to where I just watch anime. So hopefully, uh, now I have like every day. Well, my day's probably gonna be Sunday because Sunday's like my cheat day plus my rest day. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, uh, I watched The Witcher. Good show. That that was basically it. That's all I kind of want to talk about these current events because a bunch of, like Spider Man came out, The Witcher came out. I was like, oh my god, like, you know, usually said like a bunch of shows end and a bunch of stuff comes back. You know, like we haven't had a Spider Man two movie, Spider Man movie in two years. We haven't had The Witcher in two years. We haven't like JoJo's hadn't come out in what two years as well. A month. Oh yeah, JoJo's been two years. I mean, part five. What was part five? Is it two? Part five. It, it, at least two. I'd say three actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Technic- like yeah, technically twenty nineteen. Yeah, technically three if you count twenty twenty two right now. Yeah, at least two. I'm pretty sure it was twenty nineteen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was late twenty nineteen. And and as of recording too, um. Jojo, what is it, part six? Because they're doing it monthly. It should be coming out within the next few days, oh, I want to say. I gotta cash up quick. <laughs> yeah, dude. But um uh this yeah. Bunch of stuff bunch of stuff's coming back, which is great for me, so I can finally just like I can relax. I can finally just take a break. Like tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna take a... <sighs> I can finally just relax. Nope, you know what's gonna happen? Sam's gonna wake up tomorrow morning, guys. And <laughs> I'm gonna wake up I'm gonna be I'm... at his front door and I'm gonna have my microphone be like, all right, ready to record, Sam? I'm gonna wake I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna be back in my college uh, apartment and be like it's like so no one's like, Hey, my my roommate's like, Hey, uh you had, did you finish that fifteen page paper left? Like 
It was all a dream. <laughs> it was all a dream. Uh, so, but uh, that's that's all I had for this this podcast. It's a very long podcast. Yeah, but... very long. Hey, hey, I, since since you guys love us so much, we gave you double, extra long. Yeah, double double the podcast. Extra long episode. So. so. I'll have a joy editing this. Yeah, I gotta send you a couple clips, but we'll be good. So, yeah, it's been great. Uh, happy twenty twenty every twenty twenty two, everybody. It's the year sorter online comes out. You'll know you will. You'll see me there. <laughs> the ga- Dude, if you die in the you game, die you die for real. So, uh, yeah, happy new year, everyone. I guess. I guess.